Hey, this is Jonathan Goodman from the Online Trainer Academy. Now, I know that you're here because you're passionate about health and fitness and you want to help more people out in the world and this presentation is going to show you how to do that. I cannot wait to share it with you. So, you may have already heard about some of the successes that our students have had adding an online training component to their business and I want to walk you through how they've made that happen right here, right now. That means that whatever you're doing, you need to stop. You need to call your spouse, tell them you're going to be busy for a little bit, like shut down social media, lock your phone in another room, turn off the TV, do whatever you need to do to make sure you're here with me right now to get some serious momentum rolling. So I'm pumped. You ready to go? Awesome. So I've got a special presentation for you. It's going to show you how to launch your online training business in the next 30 days for under $2,000. Now, before I get into it, know that this is about permission. This is about the permission to pursue your passion by taking back control of your schedule so that you can spend more time with your loved ones while still offering an incredible service to your clients. So whether you're a trainer, nutrition coach, or gym owner, adding online training to your bottom line, either part-time or full-time, it's the most profitable type of fitness instruction in the world, bar none. Now, now, my guess is that you're operating the old way. Check this out real quick. My guess is that you're operating the old way. Like, you're either owning a gym or you're, you're working for one either as an employee or an independent contractor. Like, the old way had you given like 50, 60, or, even like 70% of your revenue to the gym owner or overhead. Like like how crazy is this? Okay, this is all the money that you're giving away to somebody else. Now, now check this out. This is how much money you're actually going to get to keep with the old model. Okay, the blue I already filled in, I mean, that's like taxes and payment processing and stuff like that, right? That's, that's stuff that you're going to have to give away no matter what you're doing. Now check this out, okay? This is, with, with, with this training business, with, with online training, the new way, okay? With you working remotely with clients, it's almost pure profit. Aside from payment processing, like again, you can't get rid of that, you get to keep all of the money. Like, all of this. I mean, look, look at how long this is taking me even to fill out. Like, you get to keep the whole pie with this. Check this out. You don't need costly software, big social media following. Like the tech is much less complicated than you think. Let's say again, you want to take home $72,000 profit. Okay, just using that number randomly. Like if you want to do more than that, you can, but I just had to pick a number. So the old way would be to bust your butt generating close to $150,000 in sales because you're giving so much of it away. With online training, check this out again. Like you've got your 72,000 bucks. Okay, so that's cool. Well, let's do just a little bit of simple math. To make that $72,000, you need 20 clients, okay, paying you $300 a month. Like, that's it. All that you need are 20 good customers that you take care of. So, looking at this now, do you really think that you need a bloated social media following or costly software or anything like that? Right, I didn't think so. Just like your workouts, focus and simplicity is what we're after. This business opportunity is about you sharing your knowledge, your coaching, your message with clients anywhere in the world, and it's extremely profitable. This is why online training is the next step for smart and passionate trainers. Like, unlike gym ownership or ebooks or memberships or supplement reselling or anything like that, this is not something that's gonna cost you insane amounts of money to get started. You can get started under $2,000 in 30 days. And I didn't just make up this number, like, this is actually the number. I'm gonna walk you through this presentation to show you exactly where to spend that $2,000 dollars. Sound good? Awesome. So a lot of fit pros think that they can just like put a post up on Facebook or Instagram and like become an online trainer. That's the dream, right? The truth is you're in business, okay? And there is an investment, but it's not huge. And I totally understand that for some of you, $2,000 is a lot of money, but it will put you in business. It does take money to make money, but not a lot. And the cool thing about this business is that everything you make is almost profit and you get monthly revenue. And you do it on your own time. Now, the Online Trainer Academy framework that I'm going to show you guys will have you literally being in business in the next 30 days. This is not some four-year degree costing you $50,000 with no real money-making skills at the end of it or yet another training or nutrition certification that doesn't help you grow your business in any meaningful way. If you stick with me, I'm going to teach you the blueprint that we've developed over seven years with 10,000 plus fit pros in over 80 countries looking to help more people have more impact and make more money. Does that sound good? Awesome. So in today's training called how to launch your online training business in the next 30 days for under $2,000, I'm going to be introducing you to the three key frameworks. 
right? So first, actually, can I tell you a quick story about one of my clients who became an important mentor? He ran in late for a session again, because he was late every single time, but this time he actually came up to me and took a book out of his bag. He was smiling, I was pretty upset because he was late again, but he, he took this book out of his bag and he gave it to me and he said, you're not gonna be my trainer for much longer. So the book was called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. You know, the book teaches that rich people take a resource that replenishes and trade it for something that doesn't. And, and you know what, money replenishes but time doesn't. My client knew that I was just killing myself in the gym. I needed a better understanding of how to invest in myself in order to build a better life and help more people. So like, yeah, you can learn a lot for free on the internet and like maybe you have already and that's awesome. But mostly people on the internet, honestly, are in just wasting their time in free groups. I run the biggest Facebook group in the world for online trainers. Like, I see people every single day asking these same questions, burning precious time, procrastinating while others smartly invested just a little bit of money, less than $2,000, got all of the answers, got started, made back their initial investment, and are profitable. To be blunt, this is the difference between the wealthy and the poor. You don't need another Facebook group. So the first framework that I'm gonna to cover today is a precise pathway so that you never waste any more time. Okay, money replenishes, but once time is gone, it is gone forever. Now, a precise pathway combined with actual mentors who have proven track records of success versus like random people in Facebook groups who give conflicting advice that you have no reason to trust, that saves you time. On a personal note, I've got a two-year-old son. Every minute that I spend aimlessly searching and trying things that don't work is time I'm never gonna get back with him. Like maybe you can relate to this, maybe not, but my guess is that you're super busy already like, don't you think that having a precise pathway to success makes sense? Yeah, I mean, I think so. So the second framework that I'm gonna tell you about is a superior care model so that your clients get great results and you become the hero, wherever they are in the world. You know, there's this misconception by well-intentioned yet misinformed fit pros that you can't get people results or keep them safe remotely. This is just straight up wrong. And I'm gonna show you that online training is not only better and more profitable for you, but it's actually better for the client. Now the third framework that I'm gonna to talk to you about is a credible reputation so that sales come easily even without a big following on social media. Now, I don't know about you, but I like being overpaid, not underpaid, and I don't wanna beg people to buy from me and I definitely don't wanna spend hours a day on social media. So this framework is gonna help you have all of those things. So there you have it, that's, that's the three frameworks that form the blueprint for online training success. So do you wanna see the whole blueprint? Awesome, so you excited about this? Like, I get super amped talking about this. So let's talk about framework number one right now. How to build a precise pathway so that you never waste any time. My guess is that you're sitting there right now, everybody listening to this is gonna be at different points in the journey. So I wanna sketch out a line of where you're kind of probably at. So check this out real quick. So, so here's the thing, right? Most fit pros are somewhere along like this, this kind of personal transformation, the passion to, to purpose continuum. They start having some, you know, they have some like personal transformation and, and that, that turns into like this passion for health and fitness. So honestly, I mean, these things are kind of like interchangeable. You know, they, they, they go back and forth. Everybody's path is a little bit different from nutrition approaches to fitness approaches, young and old and everything in between. And whatever it is for you, like, I'm guessing your transformation kind of changed your life. It, it ignited this passion in it to, to change other people's lives. So this is where passion, right? This is where passion turns into purpose. Am I right? I mean, how cool is this, right? You, you, you have this transformation and then you gain passion, which, which lets you learn more, which allows you to have a better transformation. And eventually you're so influenced by this that your purpose completely transmutes. Now, now I'll tell you about mine real quick. Like I've never been a big guy, okay? I was never that confident about my body growing up. Like that's why I started lifting weights at, at 15 years old at the local YMCA. I was so nervous being at the gym. I remember actually, this is so embarrassing. I remember that there were two weight racks and, and one of them had dumbbells that went up to 15 pounds and the other, the other weight rack had dumbbells that went, that started at 20 pounds. And I dream about lifting weights at, at what I called in the big boy zone, where the dumbbell started at 20 pounds. <laughs> and then, you know, so, so, okay, so I was going to the YMCA and I'd been lifting after school for a few months when my high school sweetheart commented that I actually had some muscle. Like, that was it for me. I was hooked. 
It was the greatest feeling ever. That was when I wanted to help others get fit so that they could feel the same thing. And I was just like, that's it, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a trainer. You know? Now, maybe you started training because you wanted to impress a girl in high school. Maybe not. But my guess is there was something that happened to you and you, you just kind of got that bug and you were like, I'm so excited right now. Like, I'm so passionate about this, right? And you started to build your knowledge for yourself and, 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 and get even greater results. Like, that's your purpose. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. That passion then transmuted into that greater purpose, helping other people feel that special, indescribable feeling of, of just finding fitness and getting healthy. You know, fitness pros, they're, they're some of the most selfless people out there. But honestly, if you don't take care of yourself first, you won't be able to take care of others. Like you had to have your own transformation, then get passionate enough to gain knowledge. And on, honestly, no matter how passionate you are, living out your purpose of helping others is impossible if your business stinks. You know, my first purpose was helping others get fit. And honestly, like, I built a good business out of it. This led to a job as senior trainer at my club. And I began helping other trainers build their own clientele at their club, watching them take what I was teaching them to change more clients' lives than I ever could have myself led to my second purpose, which is teaching what I'm teaching you today so that you can go out into the world and elicit change. You know, some of you right now are in this, in this purpose phase and you're just like, yeah, man, just like, John, tell me what to do. I'm down. And others might be just like, yo, I'm super passionate right now, but I'm still kind of finding my way in the fitness industry. And honestly, both are totally cool. Like, there's a huge range on this continuum, but wherever you're at, you know, you want to find people in the same industry as you're just crushing it. Like, the cool thing about the internet is that you, you aren't limited by location. Wherever you are in the world, you need to find people who share your purpose and lift each other up, right? As the saying goes, a rising tide, it lifts all boats. So, tell you what, is it cool that I introduce you to a few fit pros who have already jumped on this online training thing around the world just to, to share their stories real quick? It's like, it's like two, three minutes. And once done, I'm going to get into the frameworks and show you what's included in the precise pathway so that you never waste any time again. Yes? Awesome. Here they are. Our gym is going really, really well, but there's a cap. And especially now that I have a child, I'd like to spend more time with my family. So I knew that if I really wanted to make this grow for me, it would have to be online where I can reach more people with less time. It lays everything out for you. Training remotely, I can spread myself worldwide, my services and what I offer worldwide. I wake up, I have my, my clients, I have my little tasks, my, my schedule that I do. I'm more efficient, more productive, and then I have more time to do what I want. Jump in with two feet and go all in. Start now, take action now. If I didn't find online training, I would still be, you know, teaching a lot of the classes that I was able to give up. Living and not being stuck. See, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so awesome. Like, can you see my smile right now? This is what it's all about. Helping people doing great work, helping the world get healthier. Like, this is my purpose. Okay, so let me ask you a question real quick. Have you ever felt like you were having some impact with your clients and making some money, but you're secretly worried because you know that your time and energy are limited. Like with work, with your own fitness, with family, with all of your other commitments, it's easy for important things to fall through the cracks. Am I right? And so as your business grows, you realize that more clients means more time, but it doesn't take long before you get tapped out. Like check this out. You know, here's, here's the thing, right? It's kind of like an endless cycle where, where you take on random clients. So, you're going to have to excuse my terrible writing here. You take on, right, you take on random clients. You work too many hours. And then, like, it, this leads to this quality issue because you can't possibly do a good job. So, you know, low quality. If you can even read this. Which, which leads to no business growth. Which forces you to take on random clients. It's this continuum that never stops. It's this, kind of, it's this kind of hamster wheel. Like this conventional training model, it's broken. Charging per hour training clients in person, the way that it's done in most commercial facilities, it puts business first. And I don't know about you, but I believe that fitness should dictate business, not vice versa. Like a perfect workout is never exactly 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour. And given time or over time, depending on the client's goals at any given moment, Optimal workout time varies. Scheduling constraints in a gym, they don't allow for this variation. And it's the client that suffers. Like, that's not okay with me. 
and I hope that's not okay with you guys either. Online training is not personal training done differently. It's a different service. The best online trainers, like, like Jen Lemke, a graduate of the Online Trainer Academy, they respect the differences and advantages and disadvantages of each. Check out what she had to say to our podcast host and another OTA graduate, Ren Jones. I love how you went on offense. Uh, and, and, and it's something that I talk about often with, with other trainers, even with clients. You know, sometimes we are so, we're so accustomed to complaining about a thing. We, we will concentrate on all the things that are missing from a process, the things that we don't have. You know, it's, it's so easy to it immediately, you know, you, you go, in my case, I call it old school black Southern grandmother. I'm, I'm in the U.S. for, for those, those of you who don't know. But you get into complain mode, you know, where, where you've, got, you've got these longings and these, uh, you, but you can't, you can't see them in person. So, I mean, how can you train them? They're not going to do what they're supposed to do. But what you're saying is you took what was possible to do and sort of expanded on that. Well, I sure they're not going to be right in front of me, but I can contact them more. I can be more available. Um, mm -hmm. Now, are there any processes or services that you did not do in person that you do now? Like anything like, um, you know, did you get involved with food at all or nutrition or anything like that? Yeah, so I never offered nutrition coaching in person, um, but now I do with online. So it's a package deal between fitness and nutrition, and it has exponentially changed the way my business has worked. And, and what do you think the reason was that you didn't do it in person? You know, just with that pocket of time to train a person, to catch up on their week, to ask about their personal life, to problem solve, all within you know, one hour, it's incredibly hard to address all of those things and then also educate them about nutrition in a way that they can really apply, um, you know, for the remainder of the week. Um, and to be honest, then it's, they didn't have the accountability um, of me after that week. So I could, you know, I could tell them that they need to be eating better in, you know, this capacity, but really after, you know, the session is over, I have no control over what happens. Um, Whereas now with online, I'm way more engaged with them and we interact way more so that I can help them through that process, not just for an hour, but for, you know, an entire day and an entire week. Jen actually had a situation where her boyfriend was in Australia and she wanted to try to make it work. But for that to happen, she had to pick up and move to Australia for six weeks, leaving her clients at home. What happened next? Well, I'll let her tell you. It's actually pretty cool. Check this out. Yeah, I, I tell you what, if, uh, if, if, John, if John Goodman had a superpower, it would be timing. I, I swear yeah. I think he has some type of algorithm where, where he, he sits at a major board somewhere. There's a, there's a large screen somewhere and he sees that the track of everyone's life. And somehow you just get an email, a text, a right. Facebook notification or something from John Goodman at the right time in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, changes, it changes the course of your life. Now look, I wanna be honest with you. There was actually a point where I considered quitting the fitness industry. I feel like every fit pro goes through this. I was worn down. I didn't lose my passion for fitness, but everybody told me that it was impossible to build a good business and I found my purpose slipping away. You know, figuring that I could maybe make this fitness thing like something I do on the side. You know, there's nothing that sucks the purpose out of something you love doing more than feeling like it's impossible to make good money and avoid this laborious, life-consuming work. Like, I didn't have delusions of grandeur. My dreams were never to make millions of dollars and not work. Don't get me wrong, making millions is cool, but I wanted to work. Like, I love my clients. I wanted to help them better. And I wanted to be able to do it while I was making good money in a life that I was excited to live day in and day out. Like, I guess, I mean, I guess in retrospect, I wanted it all, but is that too much to ask? You know, it turns out that it wasn't, and adding online training actually was the answer. You know, this exciting new business model is misunderstood, but you'll soon see that it offers a better, more convenient, more cost-effective service for clients while simultaneously making you more money, allowing you to help more people, scaling your impact, all while allowing you to work a more flexible schedule so that you can make it home for dinner each night and have a relaxed breakfast at home with your family. But it is a new business. Fortunately, in order to take advantage, you don't need to spend like 50,000 bucks in four years in university education with no guarantee of a job or hundreds of thousands on equipment or leasing or other overhead. You can get started today for less than 2,000 bucks and be up and running in under 30 days. You know, I know this is too good to be true. It sounds too good to be true, but 
if you stick with me for just another few minutes, I'll share with you how. So is it cool for me to actually start filling in this model now? Yeah? Awesome. So I found that in order to reclaim my life and restore my passion, how we help our students do the same, we had to create this precise pathway to business success that did not consume everything in its way. That precise pathway, that's framework number one. You know, next we had to create the superior care model that allowed us to reach out to clients without being constrained and contained by the simple boundaries of time and location. Understanding that training remotely requires a different set of skills than training in person. That superior care system, it's framework number two. And finally, framework number three, rounding out our blueprint. This teaches you the process of building a credible reputation based on results, not fame or superficial social media influence so that clients come to you ready to train, happy to pay our fees. So now you might be wondering like, what needs to be in place to get going with online training? And, and like I said, you know, it is a business that requires an investment, but not like a franchise or gym that's gonna cost you like hundreds of thousands of dollars. You can get everything you need for under 2,000 bucks. So right now you might be wondering like, John, that's cool, man, but where do I spend that money? Like, like how do I get everything you need? And I totally get it because if you were to try to like slap everything together piecemeal, you'd spend tens of thousands of dollars. You know, you'd probably like, you'd probably start with software even though you don't need it right away or, you know, that'd cost you like hundreds of bucks a year or something like that. And you'd spend a few thousand plus on legal stuff, waste a few more thousand on misguided marketing attempts or advertising attempts and tools. And you might even spend five, 10 or 15,000 bucks on coaching or mentorship that leaves you high and dry the second you're done the program. And at the end of it all, like you'd still be guessing on the right steps to take. So tell you what, I've got, I've got an offer for you that includes everything you need to be successful in one place for under 2,000 bucks. I'm talking all of the tools, documents, and mentorship. Everything, everything you need for under 2,000 bucks. Are you cool if I spend like 10 to 15 minutes walking you through the full blueprint so that instead of trying to figure out what you need and buying everything one at a time, you can get everything for one tiny fee? Yeah? Awesome. So I'm going to share with you something that we've put together that's really, really special. This is a certification course that doubles as a full on business mentorship called the Online Trainer Academy. Now, when you invest in the Online Trainer Academy today, you're going to get all three frameworks in addition to all the scripts, documents and legal forms that you need. So the question about how we create a precise pathway and a credible reputation really comes down to redirecting energy and focus on the most important things. You know, success is about putting all of your efforts on a small number of right pieces, right? Am I right? It's, it's impossible to be successful if you're trying to do too many things at once, right? So the three pedals that you see here represent our three frameworks. Now, within each, there's three critical levers that I want to tell you about as we build out this blueprint. The first lever is vision, and it drives the precise pathway and credible reputation. This is about moving from having no idea or vision about where you're trying to get to, what it looks like and what you want to having total, absolute, indisputable clarity about what matters most to you. And we find that so many of the students we work with don't have that level of determined clarity when they begin with us. Now, on the other side of the precise pathway and superior care model is execution. This is about being able to move from stuck to moving. You see, success equals approach plus execution. Most people out there who teach business to fit pros and They'll guarantee their approach, but what they won't guarantee is your execution. You know, because we know that you need to have both in place, we've built into our program unlimited mentorship in the way of live chat, email, and accountability one-on-one -on -one support. All right, so check this out real quick. This is the sheet where our coaches keep notes on all of our students they've spoken to. I mean, you can see we've got a bunch of names here, but um, one of the things that I want to do is actually talk about one of our students, specifically Jeff Morton. So Jeff gave me permission to share this, and, and he has actually spoken to our coaches about once a month. Um, you can see, you know, March, April, May. We can go down June. Um, looks like he's spoken to a couple times. And you can see there's been, like, email, live chat, call, a bunch of different stuff. So first off, he wanted some help with his pricing. So, of course, we helped him through that and we, we helped him through his pricing. That's totally cool. But then he started to feel overwhelmed and honestly just needed somebody to talk to. You know, he felt worn down after a big move and our coaches were there to catch him and support him. And six days later, it was more of a business question again with referrals. And again, we were there to help him through it. So no potential clients fell through the cracks. You see, a lot of other programs teach things like they're a sprint or they're like somehow separate from your life. And honestly, I think that's wrong. You know, you're going to have questions throughout about the materials and execution, of course, and we're there to help you with that. But the major difference is that we're also there for you. 
You know, you need somebody in your corner actually rooting for you. And aside from the business expertise, like that's what our team of amazing expert coaches and mentors, that's what they're trained to do. All of them have been through the program and all of them were personally trained by me. This combination of a proven approach and guaranteed execution is why we're so sure of your success that we're actually willing to bet on you with a 90 day guarantee. You know, on the other side of the superior care model and credible reputation is elevation. This is about moving from being unknown to earning a reputation as the expert to your ideal prospects. So that's the more kind of like theoretical part of the blueprint. Are you cool now if I go deeper and actually break down the specific accelerators that drive your success? Yeah? Awesome. So, so how do we create this vision? How do we move from no ideal vision to absolute, total, indisputable clarity? Well, there's actually three key accelerators in terms of vision that drive it. So the first one, the first one is differentiation. This is about knowing why anybody should care about you and nobody else. So let me ask you this. Do you know why anybody should care about you and nobody else? Were well, you're in a category of one in your clients' minds where they're crystal clear. You know, this isn't just a niche. It's deeper than that. We call it the 1% uniqueness factor. Troy Bennett gets it. He's becoming known as the Chicago cosplay trainer. This uncommon commonality of liking to dress up as characters has nothing to do with actual fitness, but is something that he has in common with other people in that world. As a result, when people in that community are looking for a fitness coach, he is literally the only option. You see, hiring an online coach, it's not a merit-based decision. If you think that way, it's going to leave you really frustrated. What you need to do is you need to identify your 1% uniqueness. From there, everything else becomes clear and objections effectively disappear. Now, the second key accelerator is the market. So the question is this, do you have a clear idea of who your ideal clients are, what they like, and most importantly, where they spend their time? Now, now one on a scale of one to 10 would be muddy waters and 10 would be like crystal clear clarity, right? So that you know where to show up in a time and location that makes sense to them. Online Trainer Academy graduate Carolina Balmaris took this accelerator to heart. She identified her market as other Mexican expat mothers. She joined a Facebook group full of them added value to the group, and made an offer for a $7 webinar about getting fit after pregnancy. The response, how crazy is this? She had 800 comments. And by the way, every single one of these comments is somebody's email that they're interested in her program. Carolina made $1,000 for 45 minutes of her time hosting a sales call that then filled her entire coaching roster with this one post in a Facebook group. Her story is a powerful example of the market accelerator. Here's a bit more from Carolina. The amount of time that you have in a day to actually see clients is limited. And especially for me, because I'm a mom, uh, I have three kids, so it's the running around, school stuff, work for them, everything. Um, it really limits the amount of time that you have to dedicate to being out training a client. So I knew that if I really wanted to make this grow for me, it would have to be online where I can reach more people with less time. I have a seven-month-old baby too, so I can't be away from home for extended periods of time. She still needs me there. So I don't even see how I would be able to be really bringing in an income if I had to be there with every single client every single time. So for somebody who's not sure if the Academy is for them, I would say, why not? You know, there's an almost infinite amount of existing communities to tap into that have nothing to do with fitness. Like, Carolina did it with expat Mexican mothers. The result, well, I mean, you just saw one Facebook post led to 800 leads, a sales call that she made money for hosting and a full coaching roster. Troy Bennett, just because of the interest in cosplay in Chicago, led to people looking at him as the obvious choice. He picked up his first five clients basically right away as a result of this. Like there is an almost infinite amount of these communities that exist, guys. This is the, the, the best thing about this and the coolest thing about this is that there are, there are literally communities for everything you're interested in and every single one needs a fitness coach. You know, if you try to, to compete on like the 99% of stuff that makes you the same as everybody else, like you burn fat, you help people gain muscle, you help new moms, whatever, well, you're gonna compete. That's the thing. But if you go to these communities where you have an uncommon commonality with somebody else in that community, where you have that 1% that makes you different from everybody else but similar to them, right? if you have that in common, even if it has nothing to do with fitness, you become the obvious choice for fitness. That's the power of knowing your market. And that allows you to just be precise with your efforts. It's so cool. So the third accelerator is model. This is about knowing how much you need to charge and how many clients you actually need to have to be able to take back control of your time.
So let me show you this. Check this out real quick. To help our students, we actually produced a very handy and easy to use pricing calculator so you can figure out exactly what to charge and how many clients you need. Now, it may seem like there's a lot going on here, but the reality of it is most of these things auto-populate once you start to fill in your numbers. And we walk you through exactly how to use this. Now, now the coolest thing about this is that at the end of it, what it'll do is it'll spit out exactly how many clients you need and what you should charge per client. And, and you can play with different scenarios until you're happy, you know, because the reality of it is more isn't necessarily better. That thinking leads to overwhelm and frustration. If your goal is vaguely more, you have no idea what actions to take. If you want this precise pathway we've been talking about, right, you need to know what your numbers are. And this calculator makes it super easy to figure out that. So remember, guys, we're after precision here. To start, you need a clear plan. Once momentum picks up, you can strive for the vagueness of more, but that can't be where you start. You've got to set the goal and then work backwards, identify the steps, and then execute. That's how you avoid chasing the next best thing and keep moving forward. You know, for everybody there's a right amount and for everybody it's different. Once you know exactly how many clients you need at what price, clarity ensues and the path illuminates. Just like building a fitness program is relatively straightforward when you know the goal, building a business is the same. So with differentiation, market, and model worked out, you'll know what kind of clients you need, where they spend their time, how to appeal to them, what to charge, how many of them you need so that you can sleep easy knowing that your efforts are all being performed with laser-like precision and there's no wasted time or effort. We call this the ACORN principle based on the famous quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. You know, he said that the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn and it's true, but what's missing from that short snippet quote is that any old acorn is useless, am I right? It will only grow if planted in the right place, surrounded by the right conditions. That makes sense? Like, as you think about these accelerators, you could use a simple traffic light system, okay? Right, like, like you'd be looking red, yellow, and green to think about how you're doing in each. So let me ask you this, in terms of differentiation, you know, something that we call the 1% uniqueness factor, would you say you're red, yellow, or green on that? Now, our experience with most of the trainers we work with and coach is that sadly, so many are in the red zone on this. They promote themselves again based off of the 99% that makes them the same as everybody else. Like you burn fat, you help moms, whatever. They're, you, they're not clear on what's special and unique about them. And as a result, they compete with others who just have bigger budgets and full on marketing teams. And, and honestly, this leads to a lot of the frustration in our industry. Now, in terms of market, the ideal clients that you can serve, where they are and how they spend their time, would you say you're red, yellow, or green on this? And we find that a lot of the people we work with are yellow on this. They've kind of got an idea, but they've never been shown how to translate it into the unfair advantage that they deserve, kind of like Carolina did when she got 800 inquiries from a single Facebook post. Like, that's the power of this, guys. And, and would you be red, yellow, or green on your model? Do you know the exact number of clients that you need? and know how to make the numbers work for your life and your freedom goals. And surprisingly, we find that a lot of the trainers that we work with and coach are read on this before they start. You know, they kind of started their business and it's just, it's just taken over. And if you step back and think about the numbers, you probably need way fewer clients than you think. And once you come to that realization, the type of marketing that you need to do becomes much more directed as opposed to this like crazy shotgun approach, trying to get as many followers as possible that really doesn't do anybody much good. You know, building your business like your body, it's a process, right? The goal of more, just like the goal of as much as possible, it gives little direction and leads to just wasted efforts and distraction. Joe Messina is a great example of this. It's a value of just trusting the process and following the steps. He actually started online training part-time while working as an electrical engineer. Fitness was his passion and he wanted to find purpose in it, but he didn't know how to make it happen because he didn't have the clarity and focus on what needed to be in place. So like a lot of people, when he started in 2016, he trained four people for free, you know, just friends of his. Well, flash forward to today, Joe's now worked with 300 people in 16 countries and his transformation programs sell out every single session. Now, I know some of you are looking at this and thinking about this and saying like, I won't be able to do that. I can't get 300 clients. And I promise you, if you had been Joe just a few months before he started, he would have said the same thing. But he built up his clientele step by step by step. And it didn't take long for him. So like, you can't discount this, guys. It's happening to people just like you every single day. So next thing, I want to next thing I want to talk to you about and share is execution. Talk about the three accelerators that drive that. So the first one, the first one is action. This is really about knowing the precise steps to follow from start to finish, from crafting your ideal business. It's about knowing precisely how to acquire clients and also the exact steps to onboard them and communicate with them so that they get great results and you're as efficient as possible in working with them so that you don't lose the all important human touch. 
you know, Connor Sloan, a coach in the UK, he actually posted on April 27th that he was interested in enrolling in the online trainer academy. Well, he later posted again that he did enroll on the 29th. And, you know, because he was in the UK, his books took uh, about 10 days to get to him. He's in Ireland. Then on May 12th, just a few days after he actually started the course, he got his first five online clients at 100 British pounds each. Now, you might be thinking, like, John, he made 500 pounds. Who cares? But let me stress something. This was his first try. Like, how much would it have been worth for you to be successful on your first try instead of trying for a month or six months or a year? Guys, this is, this is what happens when you follow a proven process. Um, and like on May 17th, he actually messaged me privately to say that he was up to 15 clients, which at 100 pounds a month is about 18,000 pounds a year, about in at about $23,000 US a year. And he's just getting started. And that's the point. He started. He took action. So the next accelerator is mentorship, which is about having people you can trust that you can go to with a question at any time to get immediate support and accountability. This is really about having unlimited access to people who care about you, who have proven repeatable formulas that work and that you trust to guide you. This is truly priceless. Even for seasoned coaches like user Ezra, a mother of four under 10 living in London, England, like user homeschools her four kids under the age of 10. When she needs guidance, she needs it now. She can't mess about and she needs it from experts. So when you enroll into OTA today, you get the precise path, the superior care model, the credible reputation, all scripts, documents, legal forms, and the mentorship. But I want to do something crazy for you. Like nobody else offers this. When you enroll today, I'm going to increase the business coaching and mentorship to lifetime access at no extra cost. Because here's the thing, this is a journey. This is not a four or six or eight week sprint. I want to make a commitment to you that we're not just going to take care of you while you're in the program, but well after you graduate. Come back three years, five years after you finished and book a call, we're happy to talk. You know, other coaching programs, they cost like five, 10, even 15,000 bucks. And once you're done, you're out. Unless you pay even more money for access. But but here's the truth, your life is fluid. Your situation, your needs, your desires, they're gonna change. And when they do, your ideal business will change. Look, the service alone is easily worth 5,000 bucks a year, but once you're in your family, and I don't know about you, but where I'm from, we take care of family whether they live in the house or they've already moved out. Now the third accelerator is certification. So here's a question for you. How much do you feel that you have to prove yourself to online prospects before meeting them? I'd like you to give yourself a number to see how you rank, with one being that you kind of talk in circles with your clients, and 10 on a scale would be that, like, you know, they know that you're prepared and, and sold on you before you even get a word. Have you ever thought about how they get that evidence? Like, even if you don't see the value in certifications, your clients unconsciously do. For prospects, certification is a way of calibrating. It's an immediate sign that you're qualified and prepared to look after them. Think about it from a client's point of view who knows very little about our industry. Do you think they would put more value on a trainer who says that they've kind of done some on online training and like kind of know what they're doing? Or a true professional who has the world's only certification in how to deliver successful, right, results-based online training? And so, once again, if we think about these traffic lights for these accelerators, would you say you're red, yellow, or green on action? Now, in action, we find a lot of trainers have a plan. You know, they've got some way that they've identified to get there, but they're mostly yellow. They're, they're guessing most of the time and wasting a ton of time on just these, these wasteful expenditures. Now, in terms of mentorship, yeah, some people have mentors. They can go to, and perhaps it's yellow for you, but for a lot of people it's red. You know, they don't have anybody they can go to. In some cases, they've kind of they've found that you know, they have somebody that they can ask as long as they keep paying or they rely heavily on like these free Facebook groups where you really can't trust the majority of the information because most of the people in there are less experienced than you. Certification, are you red, yellow, or green on that? Now, our clients are green, but we know that this is the only serious training program with a textbook and relied upon certification for trainers in the world that also includes a proven care model in addition to the business development and marketing. And so many of the clients that come to us, in fact, all of the clients that come to us are read in this accelerator before they begin. Online training is new and it's different and everybody starts somewhere, but honestly, the best time to start was yesterday. The second best time to start is today. You just have to take the leap. You know, Devin Brown knows this well because he didn't start right away and it almost put him under. You see, Devin's a father and a gym owner who actually invested in the Online Trainer Academy, but he didn't use it for a while. The gym that he owned was going really well, so we didn't think he needed it until it wasn't. He started losing members at an alarming rate for reasons outside of his control. He was actually gearing up for a fire sale, almost having to sell off his equipment and building for pennies on the dollar and start over. This was what his revenue breakdown looked like when things were going wrong. 
Now, as a last resort, Devin dug back into OTA and has since doubled his gross revenue, almost fully replacing the gym's membership revenue with online training. Now, with online training revenue being almost 100% profit, remember, Devin is back in the driver's seat. Actually, he's not quite in the driver's seat because now he doesn't have to drive an hour to and from the gym, which is an extra two hours he gets to spend with his family and young children. You know, he still runs his gym not because he has to, but because he loves being there. Not having to worry about revenue has reignited his passion for what he does. The industry is evolving. Gym owners, trainers, and nutrition coaches all must have a digital component moving forward. If you don't get ahead of this movement, others will. So let's move on now to elevation and unpack the final three accelerators. So the first one is simplification. We should all be pursuing a simplified model. There's so much stuff that we're told to do and the question is, have you ever taken the time to really simplify and focus your approach? And thought about how good this would feel? You know, on a scale of one to 10, um, one would be you just take this like crazy shotgun approach and 10 would be it's really like sniper-like approach where you know exactly what to do and how to get to that level of expertise and can put your head down and execute. Where would you say that you are? Think about what having a method for clarity, confidence, and, 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 and how this would develop the courage to step forward because you know that this will work. Think about how that would feel. So attraction then is about having a way of having people wanting to approach you and have you work with them. 10 on the scale would be that people approach you multiple times a day to ask you how they can be your client. And you must have people approaching you, trusting you, that they're already sold on you before you say a word. Otherwise, it ends up being a pressure-based sales process. This is all about having a really solid attraction marketing framework. The third accelerator is top of mind reputation. How many people know that you're a remarkable, and I mean that, a remarkable fitness expert who's perfectly suited to help them, driven by purpose and able to work with people remotely, who uses online approaches that actually deliver better results than what you would get with them if you were spending time with them in the gym. You see, the secret to building success is to begin with an expert foundation. You must become the expert to a group of people who trust you as their primary go-to online fitness trainer. You know, if you were to think about that 10 point scale again, one would be only, I don't know, like, like my mom knows what I do and, 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 and 10 would be I own a community of clients. Like what, would you, what would you rank yourself at? Now, this is what we call the becoming famous overnight strategy, which of course is kind of like tongue in cheek because no one becomes famous overnight. But here's the thing, real success happens when you do the important work that nobody sees, when nobody is looking. It's always the work done when nobody is looking that makes the difference. Okay, so let's quickly look at what this looks like with traffic lights. Now, we know from working with thousands of trainers that most are actually red, 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 red in terms of simplification. They're doing everything. Social media posts, wasting money on, on, on just wasteful Facebook ads and trying to build the perfect website. They're doing everything to try to get to this like market fame as opposed to being the go-to expert for the people that matter most. Now, in terms of attraction strategy, that's still red. So many people are thinking in terms of leads, like how do I trick people into paying attention to me as opposed to how do I establish a framework so that people go out of their way to find me? And then, in terms of top of mind, for your clients, you're probably already top of mind, but how do you make sure that you become top of mind for other people like them? For most of our trainers that we work with, this is kind of yellow when we start with them. So, let me ask you a challenging question right now. What would it mean for you, for your business, if you were to take all of these yellows and reds in our blueprint and turn them to green. Look at this model, right? It is everything you need, right? Check out these nine accelerators of differentiation, clear market, precise model, deliberate action, accessible mentorship for life, certification for credibility, and evidence of your commitment to your craft, simplification, the fastest pathway there, attraction, and top of mind reputation. If they were all guaranteed to become green, what would that mean for you and your business? And what would that mean for you over time? I'll tell you what, like, I was just thinking about all of the things that you need to be successful. You know, most of what we teach is based on timeless principles so that you're set up for the long term. But honestly, guys, like, at any one time, I'll admit, there are a few tools that are particularly useful. Even if they're here today, gone tomorrow, like they're still pretty useful. And I want you to have those tools. So that's why when you enroll today, I'm also going to throw in Instagram domination and Facebook advertising mini courses. Individually, I could easy, easily sell these things for 500 bucks, but I want you to have literally everything you need. So when you enroll today, you get the precise pathway, the superior care model, the credible reputation, all scripts, documents, legal forms, the lifetime mentorship, and the Instagram domination and Facebook advertising mini courses. But I tell you what, I don't want any excuses here. Like you've already got the three frameworks, the mentorship and the mini courses. So, so what else is it that you need to be successful? 
You know, the people who have struggled the most are the ones who can't sell. Now, selling isn't some sleazy thing. Sales is simply the process of confidently facilitating communications effectively, telling people what it is in a way that's meaningful to the client. There's nothing more frustrating that you can help, knowing that you can help a client, but you can't sell them and then they don't buy and then somebody else who maybe cares less than you or isn't as good as you or can't get that client the results they want, they get them simply because they can sell better. Like, a single lost sale, guys, because you don't know what to say, can easily cost you 200 bucks a month or $2,400 a year just for one sale. So I'm going to tell you what. Today when you enroll, I'm also going to add in an 11-step sales system. This includes sales training in addition to fill in the blank scripts, tracking sheets on each sales meeting so that nothing falls through the cracks again. Now, this thing has been battle tested with tens of thousands of trainers performing hundreds of thousands of sales meetings before. So like, you can be assured that you'll know exactly what to say when to say it, and, and honestly, more important for sales, what not to say. This sales system is easily worth 300 bucks by itself. So like, that means that when you enroll today, you get the three frameworks, the scripts, the documents, the legal forms, the lifetime mentorship, the Facebook and the Instagram mini courses, and the sales systems. It's like, guys, at this point, you have two options. You could take a leap of faith or not. Like, a company acts on a philosophy that if we can't make your life wealthy, we don't deserve your money and we stand by it. So you know what, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something crazy right now. I'm gonna bump up our guarantee. I told you before that you have no risk for 90 days. I'm gonna bump that up to 10 years. Get the textbook, course, and get, get on as many one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with our mentors as you like. like. Learn this business and just test it out and if it works, you're rocking. And if it doesn't, for any reason, just let us know and we'll give you your money back any time. Look, if I were to sell each part of the system and mentorship individually, I could easily charge 7,500 bucks, but I'm not asking that. I'm not even asking 5,000. Like, you can get full lifetime access to all of the materials and the mentorship for less than $2,000 right now. And guys, like, to be completely honest, whether you enroll or not doesn't actually affect me at all. Like, I'm not gonna go out and, I don't know, buy a new car or whatever it is when you enroll. Like, this is about you. This is about you changing your life. So if you look at this and you're like, I think this might work, like that's all you need. Like if you have hope, like that's all you need. Think about it this way. If all this did was get you five clients, just five clients who pay you $200 a month, you would make back your entire investment in just two months. And then everything after is pure profit. Like there's no lease you have to pay, no equipment costs, no ongoing cost or anything like that. And this will allow you to help more people and give you the freedom to pursue your purpose. But look, I totally get that 2,000 bucks might be a lot of money for you right now. So, I mean, to be honest, like when I was putting OTA together, I had two options. You know, the first was to go as cheap as possible and try to sell as much as possible. But the problem is that it wouldn't incentivize us to just stack the program with literally everything you need, including the mentorship. Like honestly, since I began helping other fit pros and add online training to their business since 2012, there's been dozens, probably even hundreds of coaches and companies that have launched these like copycat programs professing to give you the secrets to online fitness business success or something. And the first thing that they always do is they always compare themselves to us, which tells you something right away. They then try to undercut our prices with some like slap together course or coaching program that costs like 99 bucks or 250 bucks or whatever. And even in the best cases where they can actually provide you with what you need, they all withhold the most valuable stuff and try to sell you on this short term coaching package costing like 5,000, 10,000, even 15,000 bucks that doesn't even come with a guarantee or lifetime access. I don't want to waste your time. The reason why we can offer you this deal is simple. We've been around longer and we're bigger than anybody else out there. This is why we're able to spend over a million dollars a year in research, development, and content updates alone for the program. With the Online Trainer Academy, you'll benefit from the experience of tens of thousands before you. Like This information advantage that we have is there so you don't replicate the mistakes of others. Not only that, we're continually adapting and updating OTA to take advantage of whatever changes happen online. And you get all these updates and coaching for life at no extra cost. So yeah, instead of trying to go cheap and not offering you everything you need, we chose not to waste your time or money and decided to give you the best certification course, the best business training, and the best mentorship in the world all in one place because you need all three pieces. So yeah, we decided to go for the second option, which does require a bit higher investment on your side, but this allows us to devote more resources to you and also guarantees your success. So to recap, here's everything you get with OTA. You get the three frameworks, the scripts, the documents, the legal forms, the lifetime mentorship, the Facebook and the Instagram mini courses, and the sales system. And if you need it, I'm also happy to give you a convenient payment plan. Now, 
At this point, you might be wondering whether OTA will work for you and your business. And like, I always laugh when I get this question because it's just, you know, it, it, it only works. OTA only works if your business needs structure and leads and customers. Um, so I think that's every fitness business. You know, every single fit pro and gym owner will benefit from the Online Trainer Academy. And no, you don't need to be techie to train clients remotely. Like, you access this video, which proves to me that you know enough about tech. If you can send an email, you're techie enough. So is it cool that I ask you a question right now? Yeah? So when you launch your online training and you get your first few remote clients, like, what's that worth to you? You know? How much do you think it'll be worth to you? Like, like money in your pocket every single month. What's that number fee? Is it an extra $1,000 a month? $5,000 a month? $10,000 a month? Like, everybody's got different goals. But remember, like, everything you make, right? It's pure profit. It's funny, right? I know tons of people who think it's safer to invest in things like stocks than themselves. Like, I'm not knocking the stock market, but you'd be lucky to get a 7% return on that. So if you were to put the exact same $2,000 into the stock market, I'm asking you to invest in yourself right now. you cash flow $140 a year. And that's if you do well, and there's no guarantee that you won't lose money. If you're getting knowledge and mentorship that adds a minimum of $12,000 a year to your bottom line, that comes with a guarantee of success. What would you pay for that? 10,000 bucks, more? But I'm not even asking for that much. Like to recap, when you enroll into OTA today, you get the three frameworks, the scripts, the documents, the legal forms, the lifetime mentorship, the Facebook and the Instagram mini courses, and the sales system, right? Don't you think it's worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? Like even if this does a tiny fraction of what I'm talking about, it'll pay for itself. So take the leap. Take the leap of faith today. Let's start running together. Like, I'll tell you what, I, I, I want to add even more value for you. I've got a cool bonus for you, for those of you who just want to take action right now, because I don't want you to come back in like a week or a month right now. Like, I want you to get started right away with confidence, with crystal clear clarity. And I get it. I know what I shared today might seem like a lot. And honestly, there's a lot more I didn't even mention because I kind of like, like surprises. But I don't want you to get your textbook and log into your digital portal and get all glossed over and buggy eyed, not knowing where to start or how to fit OTA to your situation. So when you enroll today, I'm going to actually throw in a jumpstart call with one of our coaches. They're going to work with you one-on-one -on -one and figure out how to best navigate this training for you. You know, during this call, they're going to introduce you to the materials, but they're also going to set a plan for you for accountability and implementation. This is an addition to the mentorship that's already included where you get as many support inquiries and accountability one-on-one -on -one phone calls as you want. Look, I want you to stop waiting and start doing. I want you to start now and take the leap and step into the darkness so we can light that way together for you. This call is easily worth another 200 bucks, but when you enroll right now, you get it 100% free. Like, is this exciting for you guys? Like, check out everything you get. You get the three frameworks, the scripts, the documents, the legal forms, the lifetime mentorship, the Facebook and the Instagram mini courses, the sales system, and the jumpstart call. That is an insane value of 10,192 bucks that you get for less than two thousand dollars and no you don't need to have an existing online presence or website but if you do have one we're going to show you how to incorporate those things and make them convert better our mentors are here to guide you from where you are now to where you want to go these men and women are there to catch and support you and build you up they are on your team they're dedicated to your success look this offer is available today but won't be around to forever so like take the leap guys you know for you to be successful it's not a matter of if you're going to use this it's a matter of when You've already met Devin, whose gym almost went bankrupt because he didn't start OTA right away, but he was lucky that he started when he did because he was almost completely put out of business once he started. But when he did, he was able to double his gym's revenue with a much higher profit margin, right? Then there's Chloe Schoen, who was actually going to enroll in the fall of 2017 to OTA, but she talked herself out of it due to finances. So she tried to apply for your resources, and actually, following the strategy I shared on my blog, she did get three clients. Unfortunately, she didn't have the systems to keep them. You know, taking care of remote clients is much different than working with people in person. Chloe learned a hard way how important it is to have a superior care system. So Chloe spent another year working herself in a corporate job into exhaustion before finally taking the leap in 2018. You know, in Chloe's words, the clients were there for me. I just had to figure out how to get them and keep them. Look, it's not a matter of if, it's when, and if it's not now, it's when. So to recap one last time, when you enroll into the Online Trainer Academy, you get the three frameworks, the scripts, the documents, the legal forms, the lifetime mentorship, you get the Facebook and the Instagram mini courses, the sales system, and the jumpstart call. Now, as you're trying to make that final decision, I've actually got a bunch of our alumni who have agreed to jump on and share their story before they came across OTA and how they use it and where they're at now. 
you know, they're a combination of fitness and nutrition pros and individual trainers and gym owners from all around the world. So as they tell their stories, it'll help you understand like, wow, I need to be doing this right now because they're going to show you how they did it. So I'm going to make this video live now so that you can see how it's impacted them and how it's going to impact you as well. All right, all right. We are here. This is super, super exciting. We're here with like, I don't even know how many. Um, I wanted 15. There's like 20 people here or something like that. that are gonna be able to call. I don't even know. From all over the world, OTA alumni. We've got people from Canada, United States, the UK, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. We've got uh, from Singapore. Like, it's, it's insane to me just just the breadth of people here you know what i really want you to do as we're talking to these students is is get an idea for just what kind of a um what, what's possible with online training and and that yes it will work for you because really i mean as you'll see pretty quick like all different backgrounds we have people here who open gyms we have independent trainers we have trainers who have been training clients for 20 plus years we have trainers who are relatively new um, we've got people who are transitioning in from other industries. We've got people who are still in other industries that are training clients remotely as like in addition to what they're doing. And, and it's super, super cool. So I don't want to be in the spotlight. You guys have listened to me for way too long already. Um, I want to talk to Chloe. Chloe, where are you at? Hi. Unmuted. I want to know what job you used to before so, you started online training. Yeah, I guess I can go two directions. My first job, I was a former social worker. Um, and I did that for several years and then I transitioned to being a trainer and now I am a health coach for women. That is awesome. And you hesitated on OTA, right? I did for like a year because I was like, I could do this on my own with the free content. And then I tried it and nobody stayed with me. So I was like, it's time. So what happened? So tell me a little bit about that. So you tried it. You got a couple mm -hmm. clients, right? Just with mm -hmm. content and stuff like that. But what happened? Yep. Yeah, I think I just, I got them. And then I was like, okay, like, <laughs> now what? Like, I know how to train people in person. And right. I know how to talk to people all day long. But um, I guess it was like they signed up for their first 90 days. And then when it was over, I was kind of like, okay, like, do you? I don't know. I totally just like. <laughs> flopped on that part you which want was fitness just so, stuff still yeah yeah <laughs> like which it's not different than in person but like it's so is and yes i'm at the airport right now i don't know if you can hear that but oh sorry. yeah yeah that's right i was like who's like who's mic is that but that's right you're at the airport so that's super cool um and, and i appreciate you jumping on just before you're, you're, you're getting on mm -hmm. There you go. The announcement's over. Yeah, no, I appreciate oh, yeah. just before you're, you're flying back home, right? So, yeah. So, Chloe, thank you so much for being here. Um, and for those of you who don't know, actually, Chloe has become one of our OTA mentors recently as well, uh, just getting trained up. So she'll actually be one of the people who, uh, you know, transitioned in from just this crazy, like, burnt out job to finding totally. online training and like like figuring out that yes there is a superior care system that you need like you do have to understand how to do this thing mm -hmm. online it's very different than in person um yeah. there's obviously some similarities and now she wants to pay it forward so chloe um get on your flight thank you for being here thanks for yeah thank you thank and, you so uh, much next up thank you and next up we have jill where's jill at where are you at jill i saw you before man Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, can we unmute you? Let's see. Yes, sir. We got you. Morning. Gil Messina here from Toronto. How are you guys doing? What's going on, man? We are going good. I want to talk about your history a little bit. Uh, okay. You were an electrical engineer, correct? Yes. Correct. And then you trained four people for free in 2016. That's correct. What are you doing now? Uh, so I still actually have my full-time job. I'm slowly transitioning to making this full time. Uh, but yeah, it's been an amazing journey so far. Uh, just taking everything that I've learned from the OTA and applying it and just consistently growing uh, every quarter. Um, so I am transitioning into that full time, making this a full time gig for me. Yeah, man. And so you've trained how many people now in how many different countries? So yeah, as of today, I'm at 297 people over 16 countries and five continents. Wow. Wow, wow. That's so awesome. Wow, wow, working like a full time job. 
<laughs> right, right on top of right. that. Um, that's crazy, man. So, so let me ask you this real quick. If, if you were to talk to somebody and they were just like, man, I'm talking, I'm thinking about this OTA thing, but like, I'm not completely sure. Like, what would you say to them to kind of, to, to kind of push them over the fence? Well, yeah, I was in that position because obviously I'm not in the, I was never in that fitness industry. Uh, so I needed uh, something that was realistic without all the gimmicks. Uh, like there's so many fads and gimmicks out there. And when I found you guys and everything was pretty realistic and the information that you're given was really straightforward and made, made sense. So if someone's looking for like a realistic way and that makes, uh, that takes on all the fluff without all the gimmicks and getting down to the principles and guidelines to help someone move in that direction. Yeah, definitely. OTA is something that I would recommend. And it's something that I still use every day, all the principles that I've learned uh, from the, from the program. That's cool, man. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people think that like, it's, it's kind of this one-time thing or like they can just like put out a post or do this one thing on Facebook or whatever it is. And everything's going to be good. Like they don't realize that it's a process, you know, like, like building your body is a process. You wouldn't just be like, I wish that I'm going to get ripped. And so I'm just going to like do this bench press once. Cause it's like the best exercise or whatever. You're probably going to yell at me because a bench press isn't the best exercise or something. <laughs> but like, I, you know, it's like the best exercise I'm going to do once. It's like, no, nah, it's a pro it's a process. You know, you, you follow the steps and you implement and, and you do that day in and day out. Well, that's super cool. Joe. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you guys who are on the call, who are ready to, to just jump off the fence, take that leap. Um, online trainer.com slash go. That's where you get started. Uh, Pradeem, where you at? Let's unmute you here. There you go. Hi. You are coming to us from India, my friend. Um, I think you yes, are the furthest person away on this call. Where in India are you? Uh, South India in Bangalore. In Bangladesh. Very cool. Well, I am psyched to talk to you. Um, you were online training a little yeah, bit yeah. before OTA, were you not? Yes, I was. I was training for about six months prior to the OTA, six to eight okay. months prior to the OTA. Um, actually, even before that, the reason I got into online training was through some of the free sources I read up on the PDDC. And uh, that is how I got into online training. So, so considering that you're already doing it for six months or so, like what, what made you decide to sign up for OTA? Like what, what led to that decision? Until that point, it was a side gig for me. It wasn't something that I was doing that seriously. Uh, but I knew if I wanted better structure and I wanted a better business plan for what I was doing and also to take it a little more seriously, I knew I needed to get on uh, to the program because the free source had already helped me start the side gig and I knew if I paid for the program, it would be much easier for me to uh, have a much better business plan moving forward. Yeah, that's awesome. So what would you say to somebody if they were kind of in the same position as you? Like they've been online training a little bit, they've maybe had a little bit of success, but um, but they're ready to take this a little bit more seriously. What would you say to them? Uh, the fact that there is a 10-year guarantee to the program uh, and that there is lifetime business uh, coaching available is it just shows how confident John and his team are with regards to the program. And I would wholeheartedly tell everyone to you know, join up for the same. I appreciate that, man. I, I, I really, really do. And don't think that like... You know, my entire team, we don't take anybody's uh, trust in us lightly, believe me. Um, we, we, we really take pride in our responsibility. So um, if you're ready to go, guys, uh, online trainer.com slash go. Christy, you are up next. Where are you at, Christy? Um, so, uh, Christy, just so you know, you're a token Australian here uh, because Australia and New Zealand are the only region that we couldn't get on this call simply because it's 1 a.m. there. And um, as much as Australia does, I told them to sleep in. So, Christy, you moved to the US from Australia not too long ago. Now, something that you know, we, we spoke about a long time ago, a line that you said that I'll never forget that I want to start with is, you were the type, I'm going to paraphrase this, but you were the type of trainer who loved to train but hated the business side. Can you tell yes. me about that? I just, I am not good with the business side. I am getting better as I go, but I just, I was that trainer who hated asking people for money and just hated asking people for things. It was just like really awkward for me. My background is as, an, as a professional athlete. So I was always told what to do, how to do things, you know? So having me be that person to tell other people to do things and ask people for money in exchange was just really, really foreign and uncomfortable for me. 
and marketing and trying to show people that I'm doing something was kind of, I felt like me bragging in a weird way. Right. It's just really awkward. And wasn't there a point where you said that you actually like almost left the industry? I did. I did. Because coming from my 10 year career at Cirque du Soleil, I, I was working as a trainer there with some of the, my fellow athletes. And when I transitioned, I was trying to work in a gym. I tried to run an outdoor boot camp. I tried to rent studio space and I got fired from every single place that I was in. Like I got out and fired. I'm like, this sucks. Oh, like no. this industry sucks. And I got to the point where I realized I need to do my own thing. I can't work for other people. I just need to do my own thing. I threw out thousands of dollars of material. I'm done, done through yeah. everything in the trash. And then I found online training, and that's the only reason I'm still in this industry. Yeah, and, I can and do it's my way. And you do you do a lot of live stream training, correct? I do. Yes, I do virtual training, and I do uh, app based training through Trainer. So I do the online virtual, and I have now have my own studio. Yeah. So tell me about that. Tell me about the studio because you know you you mentioned that June was was a record month for you. Congratulations. It was. Yeah. Um, it was. Tell me about the studio and and how that came about and how online training kind of fits into that real quick. Yeah. It, it was never a dream of mine to open a studio. <laughs> and moved from my fiance and I we moved from Orlando to St Augustine Beach about three years ago. And he, my fiance, was working at a local gym, and he would introduce me to a few of his clients. Right. And the stories that they were just telling me about their experience with trainers, I'm like, there really is a need here for, I don't want to say better trainers, but trainers who actually care about people. You could, you could say better trainers. It's fine. Yeah, trainers, <laughs> trainers who actually care about people. So. Yeah. We, this space just happened to become available and it was perfect because it was a former yoga studio. So the wall was already here. Mm -hmm. Everything was here. We really didn't have to do a lot except bring our own equipment in. And it took us a while. That first six months of having the studio it was basically my, my online training revenue it was yep. paying the rent. Yep. And then it, just, it took a bit, but I mean, we're, we're a year and a half into having the studio now and we're doing like, we set a goal at the beginning of the year it's July. We've already reached that yearly goal. That so so awesome. it's crazy. We and I think, I think one of the biggest things here and like the coolest thing here, you know, everybody's like, oh, I own a gym or like you can't do online training at a gym. What a lot of people don't realize is that online training gives you such an unfair advantage as a gym owner because now, you know, in a regular gym, you know, you got to pay for your, your margins are so small. Well, Fit online training in there where you have like what 80 90 percent profit margins depending on how you structure imagine that to the bottom line of your gym what that then allows you to do right to grow your gym to advertise to promote that other gym owners by you can't do because they're too slow moving to pick up online training of it like it's not that the two things are separate like like they very much support each other so um that is awesome so real quick christy if there was somebody interested in online training in the online training academy but like they're not quite sold on it yet like what what would you say to kind of push them over the fence i would say stop overthinking it and just do it everything you need is right there the systems the marketing i mean you have the, you give us the scripts everything is there we just have to apply it and like you say do a good job and make sure everybody knows about it <laughs> Everything's there. Just do it. Awesome. So, guys, if you're ready to get going, onlinetrainer.com slash go. Uh, next up, uh, looks like April isn't here. Hopefully, she will pop in soon. So, Mike, we're going to skip right to you, Mike Bider. Um, let's trying to control this at the same time. Can you hear me? Better. There we go. Yeah, you're, you're, you're good enough to unmute yourself. What's up, man? Perfect. Uh, I figured it out. <laughs> so, so real quick, um, everybody, we need to just like give you a round of applause because you just hit a huge milestone that I want you to tell us about. So uh, let's go yeah. give you a round of applause first. Woo! Thanks, so, guys. Tell me, tell me what happened, man. Uh, we just crossed over the quarter million dollar gross revenue <clears throat> um, mark that was yesterday, actually, was the day that we did it with a... Uh, 223rd new clients since beginning in December of 2016. That is fantastic. Now, the coolest thing about your story is that all of this is organic, is it not? 
Correct. Yep. I have not spent a single dollar on any advertising or marketing. I used your top of mind marketing system that you had uh, introduced in the OTA and have been, uh, as you termed it, pigheaded with my discipline there. Um, and it's, it's worked in spades. Um, and that has, like you just touched on with uh, the previous caller, 80 to 90 percent profit margins since starting. So it's, we've been profitable since day one. That's, that's the most amazing thing about this. Like everybody's like, oh, I'm making a million dollars. It's like, yeah, but how much profit are you making? It's like, mm-hmm. all right, well, like our, our overhead's tiny. Yeah, like, like you're selling ebooks. It's like, okay, well, you got 2,000 customers that are paying you, like, whatever, 27 bucks, 47 bucks. It's like, you realize you're giving, like, easy 50, 60% of that to, like, Zuckerberg at Facebook or, or you know, the Google machine. 100%. Uh, then software, then customer service, then, like, everything and anything, in addition to, of course, taxes and payment processing that we're all going to have to pay anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, with this, man, like, it's all going to your bottom line. And so, how many people are you working yeah. with? And, and you've got, a coach working for you as well? Yep. Yep. So my girlfriend, Bridget, she's an online coach as well. She had some experience before and was doing it with another business when her and I met and uh, we joined forces and obviously in a relationship together. So we're like the dynamic duo. We're kind yeah. of taking on the world. Um, I'm a little over a hundred active clients at any one time and she's right around 50. And then she also services people in um, a face-to-face setting as well. That's fantastic. And I've transitioned essentially I've retired, uh, retired from that, which was uh face-to-face or small group personal training. Okay. You're doing some hybrid stuff still, or are you completely out of that? <clears throat> yeah, that's the entire business model is uh, the hybrid one that um, you had uh, invented, if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not it's, mistaken, it's, or you know, at least conceptualized, I, you know? I like to say that I popularized it. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know whether I invented it. I can never make that claim. I was certainly the first person to really teach it and to really systematize it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then test it. With and that's like why I think it worked so well for me. Yeah. We had it, like I, I had that model in my head, like you clarified it perfectly. Yeah. And in the system, um, obviously the market is demonstrated that the, the service is, um, uh, it's, it's warranted and it's desirable. You know, like we're stretched thing. We're going to need to hire. Uh, we're dealing with the issue of scaling right now. That's how busy <laughs> we are. So I'm not quite sure exactly where we're going to go with that. Well, you know, I, I, I always say to people, it's like, my job isn't to give you solutions. My job is to give you more problems. Um, and the type of problems. <laughs> That's exactly what you've done. <laughs> uh, so, so real quick, Mike, if, if you were to chat with somebody and they would be like, man, I'm thinking about this thing, like hybrid kind of sounds cool, but I'm on the fence. Like, what would you say to, to try to convince them to take a leap? Uh, don't waste any more time. Just go. Uh, because much of the benefit that you're going to draw from the program that you laid out, I think, uh, is going to be from consistent practice, consistent implementation, not this quick fix, not what am I going to get after a month or three months of effort and energy and input, um, and to use the top of my marketing and the, the essentially the, um, the customer client base that you already have established with social media. You know, like it's already there. Your entire audience is already there. I think one of the misconceptions that people have about online is that it makes you, you know, need to work with people from distance. It's like I'm serving my local community primarily just in an online fashion. And that's, that's great. That's uh, such I can a service great people point. at every gym. That's such a great point. Like, you know, there's, there's this dream that like online training, you can put your feet up and like, we're going to talk to, you know, or you can, you can like travel the world. Like we're going to talk to Mark Andre mm-hmm. soon. Like, you know, this guy, this guy makes me jealous because every picture he posts is like in Thailand and Hawaii and stuff like that. Like you can absolutely oh, doing do it. don't get me wrong, you know, but, yeah. but at the same time, um, it's just a better way to train. Like it's a way to give your clients mm-hmm. what they need, when they need it, how they need it. It's a way to, to, to allow fitness. Treat to them as adults. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. You know, I mean, they're responsible. They, they don't need their handheld. Strengths. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, Mike, awesome. Thank you so much for that, man. Um, I appreciate you, John. Thank you so much, man. You're the man, buddy. Uh, Yuzra, where are you? There we go. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. So another congratulations to you. I think we need another round of applause. Let's, let's. <laughs> Thank you. So you just, you just took on, you just picked up your eighth and your ninth client this month. And actually another one today. Okay, there you go. There you go, number 10. <laughs> and now, um, here's the thing that's nuts, uh, that, that I think you knew that I was going to hit on this. You've got four kids under the age I do, of four. I do. How and if you, you, How are you alive? I, I don't know, you know, and if you hear them in, on the background, that's because they're burning the house down when I'm in here. So, um, you know. <laughs> 
so so tell me tell me kind of what what made the change for you because like this wasn't your first four inch training you've been doing this for a long time yeah, um, yeah. what was it that kind of that kind of moved the needle for you it seems like you almost had this this like trigger point this awareness um, that's led to this growth that's happening right now? Um, so just a quick background of sort of where I started. Mm -hmm. So I was a computer programmer for about eight years. Then we moved continents, we moved to Africa, um, where I opened my own gym. So I was training in person there. I had, I had quite a few clients, but then I had three kids at the time and there was not a lot of time in the day. I could literally train like four hours a day and that's it. Right. Um, I trained pre and postnatal mums. So obviously time was an issue and all that stuff. Uh, and then I got pregnant again with my fourth. Um, yeah, and then I had to go on maternity leave. At that time I did have quite a few clients and I didn't want to sort of leave them on a latch. So I started training them temporarily online while I was on maternity leave. And they got back and they're like, you know, we kind of like this online business. How about we start combining face-to-face -to, -face to online? I was like, okay, that's fine. So we started doing hybrid, right? Okay. And then we decided to move back to the UK. And now, obviously, I had a lot of clients back in Africa. I didn't want to lose my clients. So I was like, okay, I need to sort of move them to online. So I moved them to online. Um, so initially, it was really easy for me because all my clients were my in-person clients. Right. Now, I didn't know how to get new online clients it's like okay so i have these people how do i get more because at this point in time i've got four kids which is um, insane I, yeah <laughs> and i'm homeschooling I've got, I've got one and i like can't make <laughs> homeschooling i've got I am homeschooling, and yeah. I have a nanny and i can like hardly manage and i'm a guy um it can get yeah it can get pretty hectic so i'm homeschooling <laughs> obviously i haven't got time to go to the gym or start a new business i was like i was stuck i was literally stuck i yeah. i knew how to talk to people but i didn't know how to talk to people and that's when i met you and you know met the ota and met the group from the facebook group and that's how it started yeah that's beautiful so yeah. if if somebody would go to you and they're like i am so busy you know i've got kids um i'm just over busy but this online training thing sounds pretty cool like what would you say to them to to kind of help them take the leap to give them that confidence oh absolutely i mean what i love about it is my, my kids can sit there and do their work and i'm sitting on my laptop doing my work so there mm. isn't sort of i don't have to to sort of uh ignore them or you know be away from them we can sit and work together so yes that, i mean the ota is definitely one of the best things i've ever done and oh, as you awesome. know it's it's paid back already whatever the cost was uh so yeah in no time literally in no time beautiful well thank you so much for being here sharing your story thank you um for anybody who is still on the fence but ready to go online trainer.com slash go uh mark andre where are you there we go, my friend. So, um, you make me very jealous <laughs> every time. I think a lot of people don't realize, like, one of the things that we do with people in the program that, like, nobody sees is we follow our students. Like, like we keep tabs on you guys a lot. Um, and, and, and we follow you just to see what you're doing. And this is one of the ways that we've evolved the program and improved the program over the years is because you know, yeah, we've done tons of surveys and outside assessments and, and gotten academics to assess the program, stuff like that. But we also follow people to see how they're using or not using it, you know. And, and every time we follow you, man, uh, you're in a different part of the world. <laughs> yeah, I am. And we, uh, we are leaving for uh, Hawaii tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, good. Tomorrow okay. Morning. Well, yeah. there you go. Um, five, you used to weeks. be a teacher, though, didn't you? You used to be a, what was it, a high school teacher? Yeah. Uh, my wife and I, we were uh, high school teachers for uh, 14 years. And then for numerous reasons, we, uh, we, we were looking for uh, sidelines, some ways to get out of teaching. Okay. And I started being a personal trainer. I built a gym here in my backyard and I, I uh, had clients here. And my wife was, uh, was a tattoo artist. So yes. she started tattooing. And then we, we thought, I, I, I met you uh, with um, in yet the fire because when when you start in a personal trainer you you are looking for some ideas inspiration and I, I read uh, in yet the fire and 
I, I started following you and, and you were starting with your online uh, training thing. I think yeah, it was like 2013, way back like then, that. Right? Yeah, it was like, it was, you know, yeah. we've known each other for a long time. It was like, I mean, that's like 2013, yeah. you know, we're, that's, that's what, six years ago. We're, we're, that's basically like four generations of the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, long yeah. time. That's a long time. Yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah. So, so you so came about it then. invested in... Um, sorry? Go for it. So you, so you yeah, you invested in... Okay, in, so in yeah, I invested uh, in 1K Extra. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it helped me structure my business and everything. And I had that, that dream. I wanted to be a nomad. I want to uh, travel the world with my wife in uh, Tattoo State Studios and Tattoo Convention. And we, we built my business around hers. And then, then that, that crazy thing happened. So I, I make more money now than I ever dreamt uh, <laughs> of. And we can travel and have fun with no financial burden. So That's yeah. awesome. And it's, you know, it's so cool how long we've known each other too. That you know, you, so, so for those who don't know, mm -hmm. like, I don't know why you would, the, the, the precursor, like Online Trainer Academy actually evolved out of a previous program that I sold way back in 2013. It was called 1K Extra, predicated on the idea of like, you're going to make $1,000 extra each month, which is yeah. still, you know, the, the, it's where you start, right? And whether you want to go farther, you can go farther, but that's where you start. And, um, and, and one thing that we've always done for everybody is no matter what happens in the future, everybody gets free upgrades for life. So we're constantly evolving the online trainer academy because the internet changes. Like there's new tools and systems and things like that that work great at any one point in time. Um, we don't charge extra for that. Like you bought 1K extra, what, in 2013 for 500 bucks, 600 bucks? I, I think, think it was 800, I think. Was it 800? So you bought it like the second or third iteration, right? It started yeah, at like five, maybe. Like we have people who bought it at 500 bucks in 2013 who got every, who still have access, who still call our mentors and have conversations one-on-one -on -one with them, who still get the coaching and they don't pay anything for that. Like this is mm -hmm. just something we've always done. Um, well, that's awesome. Look, if, if, if you were to speak to somebody who's like, you know, I'm working at a job that I kind of don't like, I kind of want to get out of it. Um, I like fitness, but I'm not quite sure about taking the leap. Like, what would you say to somebody? Oh, I think we lost it. Uh, oh, no, we didn't lose it. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're a trainer at first, I think if you know how to train people, I think the academy is the, the place to go because um, it works as the same, as the same thing as uh, with, with online coaching clients. So for clients, I think it's way enough to have results just to have an online coach, you know? It gives you focus and accountability. And I think it's the same thing with the academy. It gives you focus and accountability. Because if you hire a one-on-one -on -one guy, it's okay. But I think the academy is way enough if you have enough ideas by yourself also. Love it. Mug, thank you so much, man. Thank you for being here. Um, hope you have a good flight tomorrow. It's a long flight to Hawaii. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So for all you guys wondering, watching this right now, like wondering what the offer is, you know, if, if, if you've been watching this for a little while, you might've forgotten, like, let me just recap real quick. So when you do enroll into OTA today, you get the three frameworks, you get the precise pathway, the superior care system, you get the credible reputation, you get all the scripts, all the legal documents, like, like everything, right? You get, you get lifetime membership, like we just talked about with, with Mark. I mean, you get like five years from now, something changes, you want to speak to one of our mentors or something like that, we'll get on the phone with you. Like, like we're there for you for life. You get the Facebook and Instagram mini course, you get the sales system, you get a jumpstart call to make sure you're going right away. Um, this, this whole thing is worth like easily over 10 grand. This is crazy value, but um, sign up today. We'll give it to you, 19.99. Um, OnlineTrainer.com slash go is where you sign up. Let's talk to Gina now. Where are you at, Gina? There you are. Hello, hello, hello. Gina. Yes. You are crushing it. Oh, well, I guess so. No, I am. I don't, I don't like to admit it, but I am. <laughs> I love that. I love that you can just see like in your head, just like, no, no, yeah, no, things are going pretty good for me. <laughs> so, so you're a full-time dental hygienist. That's right. Yep. And you decided that um, you wanted to run a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Just, yeah. you know, run a marathon here or there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then tell me what happened next. 
So I, um, long story short, I got injured training for my first marathon and that made me want to figure out what the heck happened to, what happened to me and how can I prevent this in other runners? So I uh, got a personal training certification. Then I got a master's degree in kinesiology just to learn about, you know, how the body moves. And um, after that, I said, okay, I need to start um, applying some of this to some willing individuals. So I got a couple of volunteers to let me play with their training and play with their bodies. And so here I am. I went from one volunteer to five volunteers to 65 paying runners. So that's where I'm at today. And so you're working with runners yes. training for marathons yes remotely, which is yes. super cool because a lot of people think with with people trying to perform these absolutely insane like i don't know why anybody would run a marathon but like i get that some people like doing that type of thing but but a lot of people think that you can't coach those types of things remotely so so oh. what would you say to them well um i think one of the things that you mentioned in the ota is that when you're training in person you have to be reactive Yes. Versus when you're training online, you have to be more proactive. Um, I don't know if it's my background of working one-on-one -on -one with people for 21 years as, as a dental hygienist that I just know people very well. And mm -hmm. also my background is in exercise and sports psychology. So I also know what people fear. I know that I'm going to give them a workout that they're going to go, ah, you know, how, how can I do that? So I'm very proactive. You know, they, they receive their training on an app. The same way, um, like trainer, I you know they get yeah. people get their resistance training on an app. So I, I leave them notes. I already know how they're gonna feel about it before they see it, and I'm pretty much uh, talking them through it before before they before they can react. I've already been uh, proactive, and they frequently tell me it's like the app has eyes and ears uh, because <laughs> I already know how they're going to respond. It's like, it's like so my it wife, works. I can already see the eyes in the back of her head develop. Yeah. She becomes yeah. a mother, uh, or, or, or continues to grow as a mother. So yes. are you cool sharing numbers? Am I sharing numbers? Yes. Well, in terms of? In uh, terms of revenue outside of your full-time job? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so I work full time. I have a full time job and right now I just hit, um, I'm at, for my side hustle, I'm at just over 30,000 for the year. Nice, nice, nice. Or that's what that's, I was projected at. In addition to in what addition. you're doing full time, right? That yes. is awesome. So Gina, if somebody was, uh, looking at the Online Trainer Academy, but they're like, eh, you know, I work full-time job, like this is gonna be a side thing. What would you say to them to kinda, to kinda push them over the fence to help them, help them decide to take that leap? Well, you know, it's just like anything else in life, right? We take risks every day. How often do you drive the speed limit, right? Because you, <laughs> never, all right? You just have to jump, you just have to go in. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, don't look behind, just go forward, just go for it. You're gonna I make up it. that, you know, I started with that 1K extra. That's what I thought in my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, in two months, you've already paid for the academy. So what's the problem? Stop dilly-dallying. And, and it's guaranteed. And if you don't, you, go. you get all your money back. So there like, you go. what do you, you know, you'll, you'll, it'll cost you so much more money to not do anything. Right? There you go. And just wait and delay. Totally cool. Uh, wait till yeah. the motorcycle goes by. So, yeah. you guys, if you're still on the call, OnlineTrainer.com slash go is where you get started. Devin, you are up next. Man, you have a crazy story. I'm looking forward to you sharing this. Uh, hey, John. Hey, man. You can see the Change Fitness sign in the back. Yeah, that is my home office. That's your home office. So tell me what happened when your gym was going well until it wasn't. Okay. Uh, well, I, I run a fitness studio based on the niche of obstacle course racing, and we blew up when Spartan kind of came out. We blew up, and we had lots of people that had never done it. Uh, but unfortunately, some specific niche things like that, they, they go up for a while, and then they kind of come back down. So I had this big studio, and we were losing members pretty much month on month, and it just, most of our members, they were happy. It just was, they just weren't going to race anymore. Um, so that's that's kind of where we got to that point of I started looking for other things to do. Okay. And, and you had already invested in OTA, correct? But you yep. didn't use it yet? Yeah, no, it took me, I was one of the long-term guys. It took me <laughs> two years to finish it. So 
I uh, got it and was excited about it. But then, uh, like so many other gym owners, we got to that point where I was just trading time for dollars and I didn't have the time and wasn't investing in myself to finish. So you always stayed in touch and, you know, like the, the constant kind of email flow back that said, hey, it's been, you know, it's been a month since you've logged on. That yeah. was super helpful for me. Yeah, people love that and hate that at the same time. It's like, hey, we're still here. It's just like a little bit of a nudge, right? Yeah. Um, one of the things you shared, I actually talk about you in my presentation um, that, that everybody on this call will, you know, have already seen. One of the things that you shared were two charts, were two pie charts that I think are really telling. You know, a, a lot of gym owners are getting squeezed right now. And, and it's simply because there's just a lot of competition coming into the game. You know, it's very, very difficult as a small gym owner because your margins aren't that good. Somebody's going to come in and they're going to just either a better margins or a much bigger marketing team. And, and um, one of the things that you were able to do is you were able to replace all of the membership revenue that you were losing with online training revenue. Is that right? Yeah. That, so again, like I opened our studio out of passion and it was great that it went well. Um, you know, if, if you exclude training people one-on-one, -on -one, like the studio itself is, is a blast. Yeah. I was unfortunately with that thing, it's in a small town. It's in a town of 10,000 people. There's just not much there. There's three other large gyms. And the biggest thing for me is we saw it go down, you know, from 5k a month, 2k a month. I think we're at like $1,500 a month that the actual studio makes and spend gym memberships, uh, which would two a year ago would have freaked me out completely. Uh, but I made that switch and started getting the hybrid model and the virtual coaching model. And it's gone up every month to where it actually makes more than what the gym does. And I'm one of those kind of crazy few that like we keep the gym around because it's some of my best friends that we play and have fun. And it's <laughs> like we raced yesterday and it, it wasn't a race for me. It was just fun to be with them. And yeah. without having grown the, the hybrid model and the online model, I would have had to cut the gym and look for something totally different. Like we would have had to sell shop right then because it was starting to lose money, but we kept it just for kind of one of those things. Like it's now kind of an expensive toy that I get to keep <laughs> because everything else went well. I mean, that's your purpose, man. You know, that's, yeah. that's your purpose. That's your passion right there. So that's, that's awesome. I mean, thank you for sharing that Devin, and, and jumping on this call, man. Um, if, if you were to chat with a gym owner, particularly a small gym owner who's, who's, you know, maybe being squeezed a little bit right now, uh, not knowing what to do. And they're, they're thinking about online training, but they're not quite sold on it. Like, what would you say to them? Well, at some point you got to evaluate your, your time for dollar exchange. Like I've always been fortunate to make a pretty good income in the fitness industry that I've been in. But the downside was then I, I had kids. I've got a six year old, a four year old and a two year old. And I then was going to follow my dad's footstep of making a lot of money, but never seeing my kids. So this was an opportunity for me to say, you know, I, I don't know. I love training people still live. I may never fully jump online only. Yep. But this gave me the freedom to go, you know what? Like yesterday I raced. I didn't have to worry about losing income. We took a family vacation. I, that was so cool because I got to watch revenue come in while I was sitting at the beach and I still coach clients. You know, I, I blocked an hour or two off every other day. Yeah that's the biggest thing is like, you're going to have a business that runs you or you're going to figure out how to run your business. Huh. Yeah, man, that's deep. I didn't realize you had three kids. I thought you only had the one. That's intense. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Devin. We got to, we got to keep rolling here if we're going to get everybody in. Uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing and a curse that we had so many amazing uh, alumni here who, who wanted to jump on this call. So guys, if you're ready to go, online trainer.com slash go is where you get started with the Academy. Rhonda, you are next. Where are you at? Rhonda, did we lose you? Oh no, you're there, I can see you. Let me, oh yeah, I'm supposed to unmute you, right? See guys, you yeah. have to be good at technology to do this online training thing. You know, um, a, lot, a lot of people think Hi. that they need a website or be good at technology or whatever, like, like take it from me. Uh, I mean, you've, you've seen me already struggle with this. You guys didn't hear about us trying to get this tech set up at the beginning, like, we're not tech people. You don't need to be a tech person to do this thing. Rhonda, how you doing? Good. It's funny you would say that when you come to me, because <laughs> I am not a tech person at all, at all. I'm a people person. <laughs> You're a people person. Well, yes. something that you posted, I don't know how long ago it was, maybe two months ago, three months ago, 
that honestly, I still think about, I mean, the minute you posted it, I actually got up from the computer and I went to, I went to my wife, Allison, and I just, I told her about it immediately. And I was like, this is why we do what we do. This is why I do what I do. Uh, and I told Alex right away as well. And he's just like, man, that's what it's all about. So, so is it cool if I share that? I don't know if you Yeah, know please. It. So, uh, so I know I think I know what post you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So so one of you know what what you said is that um, online training has afforded you the ability to help look after your granddaughter with special needs. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about about that? Uh, yes. So um, my daughter's first child was uh, born with some health issues and our decision was that she needed to return to work because she had the health insurance but um the baby couldn't go to daycare in the beginning and uh we lived uh we live out of state so we're in the united states and um, we're originally from the midwest st louis missouri area and we live in florida and so we made a decision that i would fly back and forth and care for the baby um, during the week, and then I would fly home on the weekends, which was a huge sacrifice. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've since just set it up where we, we live both places, um, but I was able to keep my online business, and I didn't have to consider, like, we had, I had considered opening a new facility when we moved across the country four years ago, and thank goodness that we didn't. Thank goodness that I found the um, 1K Extra at the time. Yeah. And um, I was already, uh, you probably don't know this, but at that time I was already sending emails to clients from where I had moved from the Midwest and Skyping with people, but it was just, it wasn't scalable at all. I was spending so much time with those people for um, more time than it took to train them in person because I didn't have anything scalable. And you, what your program offered, let me do that. So thank goodness I took advantage of that and I set up my online business then because I had no way to know what the future would have held. And yeah. I've been able to, uh, to care for, she's, my granddaughter is 14 months old now mm -hmm. and um, she just went to the babysitter to, uh, to her little school for the first time ever last week. And I've been able to care for her for that long and, be, and, and still work. Um, I mean, I've worked in airports, I've worked, I've worked in bedrooms closed up, like in a little closet, making videos so that people couldn't see the bed and the piles of like yeah. campers stacked in the corners. <laughs> but it, it's been a blessing for our whole family. We've been able to keep our priorities oh, where well, we want you. them. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, if, if you were to speak to somebody who's interested in OTA or interested in online training, um, but they're still on the fence, they're not quite sure about it, what, what would you say to them, Rhonda? Oh, I mean, I would say that it's, um, it's priceless, the knowledge that you will gain. You're, you're going to get a track um, to follow, and um, you get instruction on how to implement things to keep your business running when life really gets out of control. Yeah. And I... I was able to continue on because of that. So definitely do it. I mean, the tools are there and you have access to, to people and a community to help you too when you need it. So just do it. Don't hesitate. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Guys, onlinetrainer.com slash go is where you get started. Rhonda, thank you so much for sharing your story there. Um, ben, you are up next. Uh, you just had a, a little bit of a situation, right? I mean, you're, you're still a relatively new gym owner, but... Uh, you just had something that happened that was a bit out of control, did you not? What happened there? Uh, well, I assume you're referencing the big renovation. That was the one. Yeah. Uh, I have a really bad habit of buying all the toys for the gym <laughs> and expanding constantly. Uh, I've developed a little bit of a reputation in the city for having all the new stuff all the time. We just brought in a 3D scanner, stuff like that. Um, and so just on a whim, a little bit impulsively, if you will, I decided I wanted to put a second floor in the gym. Okay. And so having a small private studio, building out a huge renovation, you know, by the time it was all said and done, almost $70,000, um, is not easy to do while maintaining business operations by any stretch of the imagination. Right. Insert online training. Uh, tell me about you starting your gym because you 
you didn't have a gym when you started the online training academy, but that was always the goal, right? And you used OTA Correct. to kind of help get going. Can you tell me about that? Yeah. Yeah. So basically I was at the point where I was working at another private boutique and uh, boutique style gym in town. Mm -hmm. I was working 60, 70 hour weeks and I was like, I don't know if this is sustainable to do long term. Uh, and I came across the OTA at that point. So it did two things for me. The first thing it did was allowed me to generate revenue as more of a side hustle, if you will. Right. And that helped me save up the capital uh, that I could then put towards opening up my own private facility. And then the second thing it did was it allowed me to implement a hybrid model at the current facility so that we could scale and increase profit margins much quicker. Uh, and I could operate it alone at the beginning without worrying about paying rent and paying bills as yeah. much. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the game with studio ownership, right, is, is maximizing revenue per square foot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, that's what it's about. That's, that's how you win. That's how you lose. Uh, ben, thank you so much, man. If somebody was interested in OTA on the fence, what would you say to them? Uh, I would say that you've got to make the jump. I'm not sure what you're waiting for. One of the biggest things that holds us back is lack of information. And I still refer back to the book almost every week uh, because the, the lessons in the OTA are fundamental business lessons. They're not just online. They're all across the board and you can use them forever. They're timeless. They're not based on one platform, if you will. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ben. Uh, who is up next? Ray, you're up next. That background of yours is, uh, that background of yours is making me jealous. Ray, yeah, keep an eye out. I'm, I'm watching porpoises surface in orca whales blow off. It's pretty cool. Watch out back behind me. Oh, must be nice. Uh, must, must be yeah, nice. Yeah, man. Totally yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, you, you, uh, you're here and you I sell am. pretty complex. Uh, I am. You sell pretty complex packages. And um, some would call it high ticket, but not the kind of yeah. high ticket that I think um, a lot of people generally associate. Like, like you sell high ticket right. because you help people through very, very serious problems that you've been through. So, so can you talk me through yeah. that? Well, what do you want to start? You want to start with a kidney stone and bladder? You want me to start with my fiance waking up paralyzed? You want me to start with creating an entirely system to deal with this? Or the part where I charge $1,500 a month for eight, 10 people and I have one client this morning that's going for brain surgery tomorrow. Like that's the kind of stuff that I get to work with. But I've taken that huge height model and reduced it now down to a scalable package that I can automate. That's what this offers you. Okay. Go. So you suffered from chronic disease. You still suffer from chronic disease? Actually, I don't. Uh, I, I cured it. So I had something called interstitial cystitis. I basically had a big stone get lost in the lining in the bladder 20 years ago from a car accident. Um, and it just eroded the inner, the inner lining of my bladder. So three, four years ago, I was like, I got to do something. I'm in and out of hospitals, in and out of doctors, and I couldn't work anymore. So I figured this out to get online, and now I'm able to help people in the same situation that I am heal themselves. Like, I don't do it. I just ask the right questions. Right. And so, so tell it's a really about, cool tell opportunity. Tell me about how work. Um, tell me about what you offer people, because it's, it's pretty extraordinary what you, what you put together. Um, I offer so many, so I'll just tell you about one client in particular, like I, I'll get a, because they're so different. Um, so this client has interstitial cystitis, this client has Lyme disease, this client has, um, a brain, uh, hydrocephalus. So her brain, I don't know if you know what that is. This is the kind of person that is so strong that once you enable them to do other things, they can soar in the world so yeah. my program with her is to basically keep her in a place where she stays positive so she can do a little bit of exercise but not so much and then keep the habits on like the thing with with me is is all the habits and tt distinction like people check boxes every single day and that's what i go in and ask and if i see someone's coming down i'll try to rise that back up um did i answer your question so i also have a brain injury like i just talk in circles sometimes so you got to slow me down and get me focused. Um, no, it does. I mean, I, I think the first little bit that you talked about kind of gave us a, a, a little bit of an idea of where you're at. So, so I really do appreciate yeah. that. Um, Ray, thank you so much for joining us, man. If somebody was interested in OTA, if they weren't quite sold on it yet, what would you say to them? Infinite growth. Like, my goals today aren't anything to what they were when I first started this up. I, I got into online coaching specifically because I needed to work from bed, and I had no idea how to do that. 
this next time I'm going through this, I'm opening up for my first round of investments. Like that's how yeah. big this is going. It's awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing me. Len, you yes, are up next. Uh, where are you, Len? There we go. Mr. Mike Drop. What's going on, man? Why'd you get into online training? Talk to me about it. Man, John, I was doing it before, man. I started online training. Um, the real reason, because I wanted to be Netflix and not Blockbuster. I believe in innovation. <laughs> I didn't want to go out of business. New things happen all the time. And when it's new, I am not the type of old fuddy-duddy to say, yeah, well, back in my day, we did it this way. And that's the way I'm going to do it. I want the new stuff, man. In, when you guys interviewed me, the one thing I said was the line from OTA. You guys said, imagine how different you'll be. when You can say that you are certified to train people online. And exactly what I said in the interview that you guys did with me, I was like, I want that. I want to do that. I want to be one of the first. So I was in the first group, man. I might have been the number two guy that jumped on it. Uh, and then John's so attractive. So it was hard to say no to him when he pitched it. You know, I had to do it. Well, man, I think a lot of people don't realize like certification, you know, a lot of us fitness professionals talk to other fitness professionals, right? And we're like, oh, I don't need another certification. Certifications mean nothing. Like you, you put yourself in, in, in the mindset of somebody who knows nothing about our industry, right? You put yourself in the mindset of somebody who knows nothing about online training or what it is. It's like, how are they possibly going to make a decision? Well, we have preconceived notions of what certain things mean. And, and the certification is actually a really, really valuable aspect. I think underspoken element of OTA because it allows people to make this unconscious decision and evaluation of value of quality in comparison. You know, if there's, if there's two people, right? If there's one person who's like, Hey, I'm an online trainer. Like look at my Instagram or whatever it is. There's another person who's like, I have a certification that teaches me how to offer you a superior care model from the only certifying company in the world for online training. Like I've studied from the only textbook in existence on this thing. Like, who's the client going to pick? Who would you pick, right? If you knew nothing about a thing, you, 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 go to, you go to places where you understand little bits and pieces of it. And certification is something we understand. So, so I've always loved that line. I've always picked out that line and we've used that, that quotable a lot of times over. Um, Len, thank you so much for joining us. If you guys don't know yet, um, Len's also the host of our podcast. You know, one of the things we love to do as a company is actually bring our alumni in to become our mentors, to become, to, to, to come in and share with us people who have really gained from the information. So when uh, I call him Mr. Mike Drop because he is, uh, and we brought him in to host our podcast, uh, interviewing other students and, and sharing their experiences. So when thank you so much, man, for sharing. Uh, Kay, you are up next and you unmuted yourself. There you go. Awesome. Oh, maybe you didn't. Hold up. Wait, you're talking, but you're muted. See technology, guys. Can you hear me now? Yes, we did it. Yes, okay. I feel like Verizon. Can you hear me now? And you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, Kay, why did you switch back to one in or to online? You, I you had was one-on-one -on -one with what you've two staff. You had a great one-on-one -on -one gym. Talk to me about I what's was, going on. I was done, you know. So <laughs> I have Hashimoto's, and so my energy levels. You know, you get up at four thirty in the morning. You're going till six or seven o'clock at night. You have like between one and four off for, uh, because you can't fill those slots. And I was exhausted. So I would literally come home from the end of the day, crash on the couch. And my family, all they saw, you know, was me grumpy and tired pretty much all the time. So I had been researching. I thought, you know, I'm a pretty smart person. I could probably put this together myself. And all of a sudden you start showing up on my Facebook feed <laughs> and I thought, huh, I will pay someone to tell me how to do this. And what I liked about the online training Academy, is you didn't oversell it. You didn't promise me millions of dollars, millions of clients, you know, look, I'm going to be this great, you know, online phenomenon. It, it was the $1,000 to keep me going when, you know, a client moves away or a client has a life issue. And you're like, okay, well, now what do I do with the slot? Mm -hmm. So. Reliable, repeatable. Uh, and it was a big deal. You know, I was actually looking in the future because I knew that we were going to be moving um, from our current location. 
and we moved 1,500 miles away. So I had no no network. I didn't know a single person to the new location we were moving to, and the thought of rebuilding my one-on-one training, I mean, that was an overwhelming and exhausting perspective. And so um, my husband was active duty military, so I have people from literally all over the world who are like, well, okay, how can you train me? You know, I can't, oh, if only we yeah. were together, if only we could be in the same room at the same time, right? And that's what it's offered me. And we've had some life changes since um, moving here. Um, and without the Online Training Academy, I, I wouldn't even be working, so. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing that. I mean, I, man, I feel your pain. You know, yeah. when, I was, when I was training people, whatever 12 13 14 hour days uh the amount of times when i would hear if only you were here or hey i have this person who i know family member colleague whatever friend who lives far away and they've had a terrible experience if only you were there like like with this online training thing guys you can actually pick these clients up right yeah. like like think about that and when you pick them up by the way it's like 80 90 percent profit um right. as well that that you can do in your own time um, that's fantastic. So, okay. If, if somebody were to go to you and they're like, I'm interested in OTA, but I'm not quite sold on it yet. They're on the fence. What would you say to, to push them over? You never know what the future is going to hold. So why not go for something as you can see from all these people that if you put the work and effort into it is almost guaranteed because you're willing to give us our money back if we can't get it to work. Yeah. I mean, it is guaranteed, right? Yeah. Worst, absolute worst case scenario is you learn a whole bunch of stuff. And then you get your money back. Exactly. It's a pretty good worst case scenario. Okay, thank you so much for this. Thank you for joining us. Uh, James, you are thank next, you. my friends. Yeah. All the way from Singapore. Yeah. So um, you got to a point. I, I hope this doesn't embarrass you to talk about it. You spoke about it on a podcast, so I'm assuming you're okay with it. So you got to yeah. a point where you bought OTA. You didn't do anything mm-hmm. with it. And you had, was it less than $2 in your bank account? 30 cents to be a zick. 30 cents. And you had 30 cents in your bank account. And the next payment for OTA was coming back up. And you said, I got to do something about this. Yeah. So what happened? So I remember then to be about a year back, I uh, did the OTA. I think I was about chapter four. Okay. And um, I was going with the OTA's monthly payment because uh, I paid for precision nutrition level two at the same time as OTA, which was a very risky thing to do. Um, yeah, so, so we, we did that. And then uh, that was also a transition in my life where I decided that I don't want to do, uh, I don't want to work for somebody uh, anymore. So uh, when that happened, uh, I think somewhere about chapter four, so that's about four months into buying the OTA. Um, I was paying uh, OTA about monthly subscription and every month I was trying to struggle to actually pay OTA. So uh, what happened was that I actually uh, dropped you guys an email. I, I used the Ask a Coach uh, email subscription and, and yeah. Burke caught, caught it. Yeah, so, so we actually had a whole um, conversation about um, how my Facebook was like, how my Instagram was like, how my website was like and what are things that we can tweak very immediately to make something happen. I think about one or two weeks later, I got my first deal and then everything changed since then. Yeah. And I mean, that's the thing, guys, like, like we don't like when, when people fall through the cracks, we have a lot of systems built in to follow up, right. To say, Hey, come talk to us, come talk to us, come schedule a call. Like we'll work with you on this. I mean, you know, James just hadn't really done anything with the materials yet. It's like, okay, well, like Amber, one of our coaches got on the phone with him. It was just like, yo, James. All right. Let's, let's take a deep look at what you're doing or not doing. And let's do something about this. Now, James, you have like, I, I think I lost count. Like I had a list of like the eight different income streams you have now. Like you're mm-hmm. sponsored. You've got some corporate stuff. You're training clients online. Like, like what else? Like, you've got, like it happens so fast. Like what do you got going on now? Uh, so basically I took whatever I learned from OTA online to offline and then um, I talked to different partners and uh, I, I'm not sponsored but I'm really partnered with a lot of bigger brands who uh, yeah so so they, they see a, a, an opportunity because uh, one of my biggest selling points is the fact that I'm a sports science trained sports nutritionist whereas everybody else around my area is really clinically trained so that gave me a very big edge within the fitness industry because not just uh, am I learned in the sports science area, not just in my experience in 
um, the whole sports science area, but I also am very major in the area of sports nutrition. So that gave a lot of companies uh, a way to see as an advantage. So everything that I learned from OT, I took it out to an offline setting. I brought it to the companies whom I'm interested to work with and I just told them, hey, this is what I can offer to you. This is what I think we can partner together. And uh, yeah, so those were the times when uh, different companies will come in and see that, hey, uh, I think there is a certain level of um, opportunity between both of us to actually work together and uh, we just hit it off that way. Uh, so I've been very fortunate to have a good amount of workshops and partners with um, trainer trainers, even with people like Fitness First and Virgin Active. Uh, I work with Fitbit. I'm going over to work with Garmin because I'm changing uh, the kind of clients that I want to work with. So these are the people who are slowly um, seeing that potential to work with me for these little selling point reasons and I probably wouldn't have known how to sell myself if not for the cost. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that, James. Mm -hmm. um, guys, if you're still interested, you know, if you're on the fence, onlinetrainer.com slash go is where you sign up, is where you enroll. Leslie, you are next. Let's unmute you here. There we go. Now, Leslie, I think you know Hi, what to talk about, right? I I'm pretty certain. <laughs> you have three daughters? Uh, two daughters and a son. Two daughters and a son. And your eldest daughter just graduated college debt free. That's right. Let's give her <laughs> another round of applause. That's incredible. So talk to me about how that was always a goal and, and how you were able to, to kind of help that, help make that happen. While it was always a goal, it wasn't always feasible. Back in 2010, our house tanked in the market back in uh, when we were making a move from Kansas City out to Washington and we nearly lost everything in in the housing market and when we came out here we had to pay for two um, two mortgages for three years uh, we entered them into high school yada yada life gets in the way she gets mono her senior year of high school I'm working in corporate training I, I have a staff of 40 but I'm but I'm required to be at work, you know, from pretty much, it was more not just eight to five. It was about a 24 seven type of situation. And she gets mono her senior year and I have to take FMLA, decide where I'm going to be. Um, I'm teaching, I'm training, I'm coaching, I'm momming. I've got two other kids and it was like, this is not what I signed up for. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have a college plan either because we lost everything in the move and at that time I just decided I don't want my kids to remember you know because when they're sitting in high school you realize how fast they grow up and I don't have that much more time with her and do I want to be you know at work all the time with no plan for college and then strap her with college debt and so ran into OTA decided that I would do it, got a little slow in the process, but as I, and I did the hybrid model, still do the hybrid model, um, realized that I can be home when they're home. Because while, you know, it's different when they're little, when they're, you know, in school, by the time they're home, I want to be done. And I want to be able to do, you know, I want to be able to go when they have a project or whatever. So long story short, um, left corporate in 2015, started my own online business and decided that would be the college plan. And she graduated this past June. Not only did she graduate debt free, but her sister who is two years, who is starting her second year is currently also debt free. So we are able to um, help them be able to start their adult life yeah. while, um, you know, quite a few notches ahead of, of, of people who have to, you know, I, I get it. Debt, you know, so student loans are a real thing, but boy, if if they don't have to be, um, it just starts them at a totally different level. I don't, I don't think you can give your child a bigger advantage. Yeah. Than, <laughs> than that, I mean, and and so, I mean, that's amazing. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. I, you know, that's that's so amazing. And now you're on to your next evolution of your career. I so am. Yeah, I'm pivoting and put together. Had it not been for learning what I've learned through OTA, I would have never had the courage to take this next step. 
and tell, tell us about it. Um, I've started a, a new online learning course that will open September 1st uh, called Gym Leadership, and it's all for uh, fitness professionals new to the industry and those in a transition. And it's all about developing your internal, um, personal, and professional leadership development. Amazing. Gym leadership. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that, Leslie. Yeah, um, thanks. Anybody who's interested in OTA, still on the fence, what would you say to them to push them over? <laughs> just go, just jump. It is scary because it does feel like, I mean, I think it's a legitimate fear. I don't have that money today. And you're right, you don't. Um, but you're not going to have it tomorrow if you don't start it today. So you might as well, you know, bite the bullet. I get it. It's hard. Um, and it's scary. And I think it's okay to acknowledge all of those things. Yeah. It's important. But what keeps you safe is what keeps you stuck. Hmm. And I think if we can remember that um, and then just go, it won't happen tomorrow, but it might happen the next month. I love um, James's story. Uh, yeah. 30 cents in his bank account. 30, 30 wow. cents in his bank account. I, know. I love it. I bet there's 31 cents today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope there's more than 30 cents today. Uh, I, I, I love that. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's what we always say, right? Like, if not now, then when? Like, this isn't, this isn't a, a if or thing. You know, this is a when thing. And, and if not now, then when? Right? You know, it's always going to be scary. It's always going to be a leap. But, like, that's what we're here for. Like, we're here to catch you. You know, we're here to turn on the light when you step into darkness. Like, mm -hmm. that's what our coaches is for. That's what our mentorship's for. And, and so, you know, that's why we say, just, just, just try it. Like, just go for it. You know, you know, you're going to. And so, so I really hope you do online trainer.com slash go. And uh, we saved the best for last for you. Lanny, my man, you have been very patient. Thanks, John. Appreciate you it's being great. on here. And you unmuted yourself. Great so to I be didn't here. Need to worry about the tech. Um, great to be here. It's good to get uncomfortable. In the fitness industry. Get uncomfortable. How many years have you been in the fitness industry? Oh, uh, since, since 80, sorry, since 94, 94, 95. So yeah, yeah, many years. I've put in my time. I've, uh, I've gone from, you know, clinical to uh, training with, uh, training professional athletes to one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. You know, I've, in the last seven years, I've, uh, I, I put in 12,000 hours in, uh, in uh yeah seven years so that's that's a lot of time in the trenches and uh yeah i was i was i was pretty you know I'm, i know that i'm on this planet to do this so for me it's like so easy to so easy to to go and do that but i also you know so i never felt burned out but i did reach out to you uh, a couple of years ago and and i remember asking uh if we could uh if we could do a, a call and I was, I was willing to pay whatever. I probably would have paid a third of what I paid for the course for that call, but it would have been a total disservice uh, looking back on it from, you know, enrolling in the OTA. And, uh, you know, I use this, I use this almost every day in some way. So, you know, not, not to, uh, and, and there's disclaim, no disclaimer. I'm not, I'm not being paid to say this. So it's, uh, I, I really appreciate the fact that you that you declined that that uh, that meeting reaching out uh, meeting that I uh, requested. Good. So, I mean, I didn't. I don't. I, I wish I could say I remember that. I kind of feel bad that I don't. I mean, I'm sorry for declining it, but it seems. Well, like I'm. I was impressed that you emailed <laughs> me back. I thought, oh, in this day and age, am I going to even get a response back? But you you did re, you did re, uh, you did suggest that I should uh, look at the OTA. So. You know, not the course so 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 one one question i have for you lenny biggest question i have for you over 20 years in the fitness industry lifelong learner i mean your list of credentials is i wouldn't quite say that it's unparalleled but it would be very difficult to parallel why ota oh it's you know for me i'm, I'm a kinesiologist and uh i i love the academic side of things i love learning uh it's a solid system it's, it's, it's laid out for you. There's support. Uh, there's community like here today. This is beautiful. This is. And, uh, and, it, and it's, and it provides an opportunity for freedom. I, I too love the uh, hybrid model 
that you know I'm there for my clients and I'm not having to to handhold as much and uh, I, I love that I love the idea that uh, you know there is a, another way to do things and I have two little boys uh, two and four and uh, I, it, it provides me more time for me so although I get up and, and serve people early in the day uh, I can come home and you know spend the afternoons with them and raise my kids so I'm I'm very grateful for uh, for for this system that's yeah. that's so awesome I mean I don't know again I don't know how you do two and four years old like I got two and, <laughs> and I mean I guess I guess the line that I always say to people I'm like well you don't die um, but <laughs> <laughs> you don't and I, I, I figure I transitioned away from doing ultra marathons and Ironmans and stuff like that so I've got energy for them I'm blessed with uh, an abundance of energy yeah and to be able to watch them grow up I mean to not oh, miss those steps is, is priceless it priceless is. it is so Lanny last one man last person I'm asking this question to somebody would have come up to you and say hey I'm thinking about online training I'm thinking about the online trainer academy uh, not quite sure of it yet. You know, I've heard all of these awesome people talk about it, but uh, but I'm still on the fence. What would you say? I would say you got to jump in. I mean, it, life is about learning and, and what you share in the book. Like I said, I, I keep this at my desk. I'm looking at it, referencing it, you know, before I go on some of my calls with my clients. It's It's beautiful. It's got everything that you need in there. And, uh, you know, I, I put it on, on the same uh, level as uh, Precision Nutrition. They put together a, an awesome textbook, and you've done the same with online training, and that's awesome. Awesome. Lanny, thank you so much. Everybody here, I mean, like I said, this is, this is just such an incredible collection of people, as you've just seen from literally like all walks of life, right? I mean, we have, we have, uh, gym owners, we have marathoners, we have, I mean, every type of training, hybrid to one-on-one -on -one to people who travel, uh, you know, Singapore to, to India, to the UK, to Canada, to the US and everywhere in between. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. I mean, this is, this, is, this is super cool for me, selfishly, you know, because it, it's my purpose, you know, to help, to help people help more people. Um, you know, I've transitioned into that and, and to help people just live out their passion, live out their purpose in a way that doesn't take away from their lives, but, but adds to it. And it's so cool. So thank you everybody else. I'm so, so thankful for you guys. If you're listening to this online trainer.com slash go take the leap, we'll catch you step into the dark. We'll light up the way we're there for you. There's no risk. Try it out. I mean, if in 90 days it doesn't work for you, we'll give you your money back. Like that's how confident we are. Just just work with us, you know, work with us. If there's, if, if, if there's one thing that I can promise you, it's that we're there for you and we're there in your corner. And, uh, and, and look, we've done this. We've been doing this for a long time. We'll be doing this for a long time, you know, and, uh, and, and we really hope that you do work with us. So thank you again and uh, hope to see you on the inside. Bye everybody. Thanks, John. Wow, I hope you loved hearing those stories of fit pros just like you. You know, many of the awesome coaches on that call came across OTA for the first time just a few months to a year before filming this call. Many of them were like, oh, I don't know, it's a lot of money, but all of them took that leap of faith and we caught them. Like, we didn't let them fall. Nobody falls through the cracks and who knows, maybe you'll be on a call like that six months or a year from now sharing your story to a new and eager group learning about this transformational program. But this isn't about money. I mean, like, look, money is important, but it's also about purpose, right? Online training allows you to reach more and elicit more change. Just like you, I had my own physical transformation that led me to my passion for fitness and later my purpose of helping others get healthier. You know, my purpose has shifted now to helping you help more because that allows me to elicit more wide-scale change. And look, I'd love to work with you, but the truth is my livelihood won't be affected if you enroll or not. Like, this is not about me, guys. This is about you. Because for you, everything could change. So now's that time. But for that to happen, you need to take a leap of faith. We're here for you. We've been here since 2011 and we'll be here for a long time. We're the biggest provider of education and support for online fit pros for a reason. We've done this over and over and over again with thousands of amazing fit pros in over 80 countries. And we can do it for you too, but you've got to take that leap of faith. You know, at some point you've got to stop delaying things and make an analog decision. Either that light switch is on or off. 
right? Now is the time. I want you to take that leap. Step into the darkness. We're going to catch you. We'll turn on that light for you. So there you go. Like, there's no trick to this, right? If it doesn't work for you, we'll give you your money back. I just want you to do it. Don't freak out thinking, I don't know if this is going to work or not and just put it off for a month or more. Just go for it. Try it out. 90 days from now, you'll find out. And if it doesn't work, you'll get your money back. And if it does, you're on a path to literally change your life and the life of those you serve. And that's what it's all about. So thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I really, really hope that we get to work with you soon.